afraid and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion Sorry man, what a game, another amazing football game this playoffs My Patriots were eliminated already, of course and every game has been a down to the wire game, except for my teams, but uh, everybody else had a great time. And man, the Cincinnati Bengals owner is a corpse, but the Bengals are going to the Super Bowl. Man, another overtime game in the playoffs, and almost wonder if you're gonna see the second overtime in NFL Super Bowl history, because these games have all come down to the wire. It's Sunday night football. It's Sunday night gaming. got the Rams the Rams game coming up we got the Rams the 49ers we haven't even begun that game yet after this long one now I'll admit that I only saw this one's second half Kansas City and the and uh, the Bengals game I didn't tune in fully till the second half because the first half we were still shoveling outside and I was still kind of hanging around the house with the kids and stuff like that but I was looking at my phone every once in a while to check the games updates and highlight plays so I did see the first half that way but the second half I watched the entire thing in the entire overtime and man the football games this season dude I don't know what is going on Mahomes played like garbage in the second half yeah Jerome he tried but it didn't look it just wasn't good enough I guess you know he was a mess a little bit I'm shocked at the end it looked it looked like Kansas City had the whole world like they were just going to be able to walk in and score a touchdown we knew they were going to tie the game most likely. I couldn't believe the announcer was like, the Bengals are going to go to the Super Bowl. I was like, what if the kicker missed? Like, you don't know. The announcer was like, the Bengals are going to go to the Super Bowl. I can't believe it. It's like, dude, it hasn't happened yet. Like the biggest jinx in the world with this guy. Like on the, whoever the announcer, I forget who, I don't know. Is it, I don't even know who the announcers are because I wasn't paying attention. Chris Collinsworth, I don't know who's announcing. Um, but good Lord. The Bungles, I mean the Bengals, are going to the Super Bowl. Mike Biederman, hey Mike, how you doing, dude? All the homeless people in LA are rooting for the Rams and food. Why did they get food? They get food if the Rams win. Breaking news: the homeless in LA are going to get food if they win, according to Ratnick in the chat. Ratnick knows something that we don't know. I guess I don't know. There's some kind of deal for food if the Rams win. Is that real? Somebody tell me if that's real or not. Um. I made mistakes again with my picks today. Tyreek Hill was a great pick. Travis Kelsey, or whatever his name is, he was a good pick. Jamar Chase was a uh, was all right. Uh, Joe Mixon did all right. But, man, I picked, I kept Demarcus Robinson like a moron. Big fat zero because of Demarcus Robinson. Man, I am playing bad fantasy right now. I don't know what I've done in my fantasy picks in football, but I have gone to hell the last four weeks. And then Byron Pringle. Byron Pringle took a dump on himself. So if if Matt Stafford, if Stafford doesn't light it up in that San Francisco game and Sony Michelle doesn't light it up and the Rams defense doesn't light it up, I mean, there's no chance in hell I'm going to win a thing. I mean, there's already barely a chance now after those after those botches. So this is not looking good for me. It's looking like a. It's looking like I just. It looks. It's looking like I lost eight dollars. That's what's look, <laughs> That's what's looking like. Oh my god! Sunday night football. Sunday night gaming. We got the football games to talk about. We got some movie news to talk about. I'm gonna take your phone calls potentially tonight talk about whatever you want to talk about and um, I'm going to be playing video games at some point as well 
And I might have a crew on here at some point as also. I'm not sure if I've decided on that yet, but I will try to take calls and stuff like that at some point if, if people want to do that. Yo, Bryce, what's up? JP, what's up? I'm not a Chiefs fan, so don't say I'm a sore loser, but I feel like these NFL games are rigged. I mean, but every year people say that. You know what I mean? Every year people say that. So it's like everyone says, I feel like the games are rigged. I mean, I mean, we, I, have you ever seen a season like this? Like, we've never seen a season like this where everything comes down to the wire. Um, passing yards, Pat McAfee plus $600 from FanDuel. What? Wow, only 600 though? I would have thought if he cashed in, he would have made six million or six thousand or something. Like Pat McAfee needs any more money, right? But congrats to Pat McAfee, I guess. You know, that's that's good for him. More more money, I guess. I Maybe you can pay an intern now or something, or pay somebody. You know, pay some extra money to somebody. I don't know that might help him out. What do you think about it? Oh, I'm sorry. No, uh, let's go. Uh, what do you? What, by the way, did you see the Bengals? Ha the Bengals owner, man, is he a corpse or what? He was like, "Ah, oh, thanks. This trophy means a lot to us. It means a lot to the Cincinnati city. I have nose hairs coming out of my face. Like he was really old. Like the Bengals owner was really old. You fucking stupid fucker! <laughs> Jesus. All right, take it easy, man. The Vikings are not in the playoffs. You fucking stupid fucker! <laughs> Duh. Gambling is allowed for the first time in an NFL season in Washington State. And this happens. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. What up, Big Merc? I mean, it is interesting, the games this season. I just think it's a, I, I think it's a fairly even playing field. That's the thing. I just find it insane that after watching the way the Buffalo Bills played and after watching the way that Kansas City beat the Buffalo Bills and and won that game, you're telling me that the Buffalo Bills, like, dude, I can't believe this. The way the Buffalo Bills played and Kansas City played and one of those teams are, aren't going to the Super Bowl? That blows my mind, dude. The Bengals just sneakily, like, boom, we win. Like, I, what? Like, I'm shocked. I got to be honest, I'm pretty shocked. They just, like, oh, we win. Like, after this just, this run and gun, just insane football game that the Bengals had, or rather that the, uh, that the Kansas City Chiefs and the New York uh, and the Buffalo Bills had, and neither one of those teams goes to the Super Bowl. And I guess it comes down to the defense. You know, your offense was a firehouse, and your defense just couldn't stop. I guess. I don't know. I am legitimately shocked. I would have said, man, definitely the Bills or um, – the Bills or Kansas City are definitely going. I was kind of rooting for the Bengals because I feel bad. I want them to, you know, I'm rooting, for, I'm rooting for the underdogs. When your team is out of it, and I'll tell you something about football and sports, right? A lot of times when your team is out of it, you just kind of you look around and you go, is there anything I can get invested in? And everybody can invest in, in an underdog. So that's why most people default to the underdog. And they go, all right, you know what? I'm going to cheer for the Bengals. Makes no sense. I'm a Patriots fan, but I'm going to cheer for the Bengals because, well, because they're an underdog and, you know, you want to see an underdog win. That's why I even cheered for the Bills a little bit. Like, I couldn't believe I was cheering for the Bills. I hate Buffalo. We don't like New York here in Boston. We don't like them. But, I mean, they're not, they're not the Jets. I would never cheer for the Jets, ever. I never would ever, ever, ever cheer for the Jets, obviously. But, you know what I mean, we're, you know, we don't like the Bills either, and the Bills have always been assholes. The fans are the worst to us. Like, they just, you're cheaters, you're losers, you're scumbags, you're just everything. You know what I mean? The Bills always shitting on the on the Patriots fans. But, dude, I, I was cheering for the Bills. I was like, you know what? I don't care. I hope they fucking do something, you know? Um, I felt that they were respectable. So, you know, 
I but I am shocked that that one of those teams isn't going to the Super Bowl. Shocked that that's not happening. Uh Kicking it with Roy in the chat says, if somebody would have told me that the Bengals would be in the Super Bowl in 2022, I would call them crazy. But damn, hats off to Cincy. But this should have been the Bills, and this is coming from a Giants fan. Well, there's all kinds of stuff to unpack on that <laughs> on that comment. <laughs> oh, my God, kicking it with Roy. That was a comment and a half, man. Um. Yeah, I like the Giants, too. I respect the Giants a lot, too. The Giants fans... See, the Giants fans have always been pretty cool to me or that I've noticed, you know? And so the Giants fans never really pissed me off. And then the Giants as a team were always pretty pretty cool, and they straight up beat the Patriots several times. I mean, barely, right? We went down to the wire, but they beat us. Finally, somebody was able to beat us. Only the friggin' bang, uh, Giants were able to do it um, in Philly once, but that was I would call that a one-off whatever. Giants actually had some kind of game plan or whatever. Um, and so, for that reason, I don't mind the Giants. I normally do hate the Bills, but I, re- I, I was cheering for them. I was cheering for the Bills, man. I, I, I was ready to... I don't know if I was... I don't know if I could have followed them in the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? In the Super Bowl, I might have turned on them. You know what I mean? I might have been like, nah, okay, time to get, get another zero on your Super Bowl history, but, uh, Bills fans, but... I would have been happy to see them make it, you know, sort of thing. Like, all right, you deserve to make it here, you know. And that's kind of, which is, that might be more savage. Like, yeah, make it and then lose. Ha ha, like, you know, I don't know. But uh, we got the Rams coming up. This is going to be interesting. Rams and 49ers. I think a lot of people have the Rams winning this. And based on the poll, that seems to be the, feeling as well that there's a slight edge here for the Rams um, and the 49ers. Now, it'd be, not, it'd be interesting to, 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 to reset this poll right here and to ask you guys and say, like, who are you rooting for and are you from, you know what I mean, are you from, are you, and, and the Rams are hard, right? Because there, be, there could be fans of the Rams scattered throughout California. There could be fans of the Rams still from St. Louis, they got Michael Buffer. Oh my God, they got Michael Buffer. We got to go to this. Thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. Wow, that was. I think that's the first opening kickoff that Michael Buffer's ever called. <laughs> what was that about? So, by the way, the 49ers won the toss. They defer. Ran- they just had Michael Buffer. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble right as the kickoff was happening. And Michael Buffer didn't really quite have the boisterous voice he used to have. It was a little bit like that was a 6 out of 10 Michael Buffer. I wonder if he's got a voice problem. Let's get ready to rumble. Like, that was very, like, it was rough sounding. But either way, that was kind of funny. What the hell, bro? <laughs> Michael Buffer, dude. I, it, you know, he's one of the guys. Do you ever get to ask that question where someone says, if you could come, if you could have anybody's life, you know, whose life would you take? If you could come back as anything, or like, what would you be? Who would you be? And a lot of people say all these different famous celebrities and rich people and presidents and, you know, whatever, Playboy Mansion type, Hugh Hefner, you know, stuff like that. Dude, I would, I would, if I could live as anybody's life, if I could come back as any, in any way, I think it would be somebody like Michael Buffer. And it might actually be Michael Buffer. Because can you imagine, if you told me that, listen, whether it was back in the 90s in WCW, right, you just have to go out every Monday night for like, every Monday night for like four years or three years or whatever it was. Every Monday night you go out for about three years and you go, let's get ready to rumble. And And you make like fucking half a million dollars every year. Here you're gonna make. Or okay, I guess it was like I guess it was like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, but whatever. All right, you're gonna make two hundred and fifty thousand dollars every year by just going out on a Monday night for three years, four years, and say, oh, "Let's get ready to rumble." And then they're gonna pay you to do the same thing on boxing events, fifty thousand dollars every event. And so you're gonna make about four hundred, half a million dollars a year by just grabbing a microphone. 
and making literally wor- like working 70 hours or 70 days a year. You're going to work 70 days a year and over the course of 10 years you're going to have about 10 to 15 million dollars. Oh, this is great. I got 10 to 15 million dollars over 10 years and then the rest of your life is going to be working about 30 times a year where you just come out and you grab a microphone and all you do is pick up that microphone and say, oh, let's get ready to rumble. Like, and that's it. And you're going to make, like, dude, are you serious? Like, there's a lot of other people I could come back as. When I was a kid, I would have wanted to maybe come back as Howard Stern or, you know, a radio personality of some kind like that. Uh, maybe I'd want to come back as even like, you know, Jim Ross or somebody you get to call wrestling or whatever. Um, that's all I ever wanted to do. But, you know, that's a lot, that's a lot of work. It's every Monday night and another night and you got to travel all the time and it's all whatever you're working, you know, a hundred something, 200, you know, days a year. And in the WWE you're working like 300 days a year, but, but Howard Stern was working every day, every morning. It'll be on the up every early, every morning. Hey, it's the Howard Stern show every morning, blah, blah, blah. press meetings, radio things, whatever. Yeah. You're going to make, you're going to make 20 million as well. You know, you're going to make more money than Michael Buffer, but you know, you got to do a lot of shit. Michael Buffer don't gotta do shit. Just fucking take a flight. Every you know, th- every th- thirty times a year, take a flight. Let's get ready to rumble. That's it. Man, look at the Rams defense. They're eating some ass right now. Oh, it's a fumble. A little excessive uh, after the play tackle by the Rams, in my opinion. Um, that's just my opinion, though. I don't know. Could a little rough there. A little rough. But uh, we're looking at the poll early, and we see what people are saying about this game. And um, it's definitely – the poll is close, man. You guys are really close here with this poll. And uh, make sure you guys vote. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you sub. I'm going to be playing Madden. I'm going to be taking phone calls tonight. If my voice can handle it. I think I've been straining the shit out of my voice these last four days of straight streaming. It's been really rough on the voice. I'd have, uh, and that's the other thing. Michael Buffer would just come out and say a couple things. You know, that's it. You know, it's you don't got to uh, go too crazy. Oh, the 49ers, Jimmy Garoppolo missed a hell of a play there. You get the tight end just taken off down the center of the field, and Jimmy Garoppolo overthrew him. He should have thrown that ball down inside left, and he kind of let it sail over the head, and that cost the 49ers. They would have had an easy play there, it looked like. Uh, man, it really it looked like there, there was it was an easy first down. It was a gonna be a big play for maybe about 25, 30 yards, maybe more. And Jimmy Garoppolo really let that thing sail away. It's a big tight end going up to try to get it too, and he couldn't come down with it. So there's a first mistake there by Garoppolo. He had a guy. I know he was there was some coverage around, but he had the, if if he b- delivered a bullet. Or if he led to the left, that's a that's a 25-yard play at least, if not more, for Jimmy Garoppolo. And they made a mistake, and they'll punt. What team you rocking in Madden? What's up, the dude? So in Madden, I'm just I'm using I'm playing Ultimate Team. I like to play the the you know the card teams or whatever, where you play other people online, and usually other people have better teams than me because they get their parents to spend $200 on cards or whatever, and they have super teams, right? You know the deal. Um, But with me, my team is – so I just pick the Patriots, and then I build a custom team. Um, I got Lamar Jackson at QB, obviously, for the speed. Um, I like to be able to rush on, you know, quarterback uh, rushing. It's a big thing I do. A lot of people are like that on here. So – 69ers says pinball what's up pinball what's up daniel uh i'm sure he had to do lots of marketing and social networking i don't know what you guys are talking about so i'm just coming in um cold on that conversation i'd rather be a famous writer that way no one would know what i look like says uh daniel um yeah i guess you know that wouldn't i I think that would that would not bother me or, or it wouldn't bother me if i was like a radio personality a famous i could do radio stuff but like you know nobody knew what I looked like you know I wouldn't mind that either like 
And I remember when I, I didn't know what certain radio people looked like. I remember I thought Howard Stern was like a white collar looking like white guy with like kind of a, a football type of face, a football type of player looking guy or, you know, like a news guy. Actually, I, I used to think Howard Stern kind of looked like the news guy that he brought in on his movie. Remember in the movie, the guy who comes in to fill in for Robin and he's like, I did some summer stock, you know, that guy. I used to think that's what Howard looked like. And I think I finally saw what Howard Stern looked like, like in like right before the movie was coming out, or sometime in '96. I saw what he looked like, and I was like, "Oh my God, that's what he looks like! He looks like the guy from the Ramones." What the hell? I was blown away by by that. I couldn't believe it. That kind of ruined it for me for a little while, and then now I, now I'm fine with it because I know what he looks like and everything. But I mean, for a long time, I was like, "Wow, my 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 self." image idea of what this guy looked like I had no clue you know I mean I had no idea um I was completely thrown off that he looked this guy looks like a rock star looks like a goddamn Ramones or something you know I was I was really blown away by that maybe my my voice is probably hurting me right now yeah it is hurting me you know what it is it's definitely from the talking screaming streaming like it's a lot of work to talk with your voice I need to get some lemons and I don't have lemons because of the shortages the store is out of lemons. Every time I go to get lemons at the store, they're out. And um, I need lemons and some honey uh, for my voice, man. Like, uh, please, store, have lemons again. Shit, bum! Oh, shit. We are one game away from the matchup that I want. Bengals slash 49ers 3. Oh. Bengals slash 49ers 3. Uh, can you believe that's going to happen? Can you believe that's going to happen, Gerald Armstrong? You're pro- you might get it. I don't know, though. I think a lot of people have the Rams in this game. Now, if Jimmy Garoppolo wins, because someone was saying, hey, don't you wish you kept Jimmy Garoppolo? I, this this always comes up, and I always have the same answer. And everybody's heard this answer already. Uh, Gerald, thank you so much, dude, for that $5, man. You guys have been insanely supportive over the past couple of weeks. And obviously, Gerald, man, that's much appreciated, dude. Um so let me say what I'm going to say here in a second. Big play for the Rams. First down. And Cup has it. I'm just going to call him Cup. Not Cooper. Coop. I'm just going to call him Cup. Cup with a huge play. We'll call him Cup. I have him on my fantasy team. Um, I'm just kidding. Now, how do you how do you really pronounce his name? I always say it wrong. Um, Gerald Armstrong, top donation. I'll put you up there. Uh, no, so what I always say is... Um, Wait, what was the – I forgot what I was saying. Ooh, what a hit. Rams get about two yards. The leg's taken out. Um, Bengals, 49ers. What did you just say that, that was spawning me into saying something? Damn it, I forget what I was going to say now. I don't remember what I was going to say. I might have to go back and listen to the stream to, to remember what I was going to say. It's important there. Uh, no, so what I always say is um, – what I always say is I forget what I'm going to say. Um so let me say what I'm going to say here in a second. Big play for the Rams. First down. Let me say what I'm going to say. Look, when I, look at his look, how he looks. She kept Jimmy Garoppolo. I, this, this always comes up, and I always have the same answer. Oh, yes, about Jimmy Garoppolo. Okay, there we go. Oh, another big play for the Rams. Spears the leg, and Higby picks up about 12 yards. Gets, us, gets his legs taken out from underneath him. But not before getting the first down. Another big play for the Rams' tight end. He's not a tight end, I don't think. I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, so, okay, with Jimmy Garoppolo, a lot of people say, Joe, aren't you upset that the Patriots didn't have Jimmy, got rid of Jimmy Garoppolo? Yeah, at the time I was upset because I was like, man, this guy's going to be a good quarterback. You know what, I'll just, if Tom Brady retires in the next two years, get rid of Brady, fine, and get, and get um, Garoppolo. That's, this is great. He's been great. He he played really well when Brady was suspended for those four games, so and then and then, you know whatever. So but the bottom line is, Tom Brady won a Super Bowl with the Patriots the year after we traded Garoppolo. So we traded Garoppolo and the Patriots won a Super Bowl. How many Super Bowls have the 49ers won? Zero, right? So even if Garoppolo wins a Super Bowl here and you come to me and you say, Joe, how does it feel? What do you mean how does it feel? We traded Garoppolo, kept Brady. He then won a Super Bowl. So we we win, right? Now, if Garoppolo wins a Super Bowl with the 49ers, well, at best, that's even. Well, a big run there for the Rams again. They're just starting to jam it down the 49ers' throat now. 0-0, first quarter. 
and the Rams are starting to tire out the defense of the 49ers here, just grinding down the field right now, picking up yards on the run game, on the passing game. It's all working right now. Right now, the 49ers defense, it's bending and it's breaking. How much more will it give in the red zone of the 49ers? Um, and so, so my point is that if Garoppolo goes to the Super Bowl again and wins, well, that's one and one. So, you know, there's a potential that Garoppolo could have won you one maybe, but at the same time, you already won one, so now you're even. So uh, now if Garoppolo went and won three or four Super Bowls, then you could have said, and he was nasty, like he was really good, it would be like, wow, you know, maybe maybe we could have gotten rid of Brady. Then we wouldn't have gotten that Super Bowl. But would we would we have gotten a Super Bowl in the next six years of Garoppolo? So And then we would, would we have gotten two? Because if we wouldn't have gotten two, then what's the difference? You know what I mean? So like that's I just kinda like, you know, it's not that doesn't make sense to me yet when you you know when people say that to me. But I did I always like Garoppolo. You can go back to the game, big play by the 49ers defense to wedge Higby before he can get any extra yards after the completed catch that's gonna get him in on about the five yard line. Or rather, he's actually, yeah, he's about the five or the four if they mark him there where he landed. Big play again. The Rams are still moving the ball. They're not losing yardage. They're not getting stopped almost every single play. They're getting some kind of forward motion. Third and goal. This is a huge play here. They've eaten up half of the quarter so far, pretty much, the Rams have. And they're going to be marked at the three-yard line. The three-yard line for the Rams. They've marched their way down the field. The throw to the end zone. The ball's intercepted by the 49ers. It popped out of the hands of a receiver. And there they go to the 20-yard line. Huge mistake. And the defense of the 49ers say bend, break, and recover. The 49ers defense was bending. They were breaking. And then they sealed the dam. Wow. What a huge interception. That's huge, man. That is friggin' huge. That is wild. What an interception, man. That is some crazy shit right there. Boy, did they need that, man. Jimmy Ward. Jimmy Ward coming up with a huge play. Wow. What a fantastic play by Jimmy Ward. That's fantastic stuff if you're a 49ers fan for that. They were bending, they were breaking, and wow. I'm trying to fix something real quick. Uh, hang on a minute. Oh, let me go back to the donations real quick while I do this. Wow, what a play. Looks like my little lass needs a shaving. <laughs> um, I think this got uh, this got cut off. I'm trying to find the roster of the Rams. Where the hell is the damn Rams roster? Why can't I find it? Um Okay, let me let me see if I can find it this way. Rams Rams roster by number. I'm trying to find them. Oh, here we go. Found it. Jesus. That was driving me nuts. Wow. Watch Jimmy G go three and out now. <laughs> oh, man. We'll see. 
I'm gonna be way behind you guys, so you'd have to pause your uh, you'd have to pause your streams to be uh, on the level with me. I guess. Let me go back to that donation. Big completion. Let me go back to the uh, donation real quick. Big completion, uh, Brandon. What's his name? Ayuk. What's his name? He gets hit, Mike Pereira, in the game that he's thrown this season to the 49ers. Here's a completion, and that's Ayuk. Ayuk, yeah, it was Ayuk. Nice catch, Ayuk. Good hands by Ayuk. Big play. Good catch by Ayuk. Jimmy G, first down, 30-something yard line. Handoff to Gandalf. And uh, about three yards. Would you say that was three yards? I'd say it was three yards to uh, Jeff Wilson Jr. Picks up three yards. What's up, chat? Let me go back to the dono and hear what he said. All right, Gerald Armstrong. All right, that was uh, go Bengals. Go Bengals. It says Bengals are going to the Super Bowl. Bengals are going to the Super Bowl. You Kansas City Chiefs, you overconfident scumbag losers. Um, you, what? Your team is trash? Let's go Bengals. Super Bowl 56, baby. Yes, Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon, and Jamar Chase. Go Bengals. Suck it, Kansas City. That's what the donation said. Okay, well, he's going after the Bengals, so uh, there you go. Do a little basketball dance off the concrete. I mean, I'm just so sick of you little meth head devil worshipers. I'll be honest, I'd like to take a big bite out of your face. <laughs> Relieved we won't have to see Jackson Mahomes dancing on TikTok at the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, good Lord. Good Lord. I like that Mahomes has some balls, though, but... Yeah, you might lose them with those dances, I'll tell you that. Gerald Armstrong. Gerald Armstrong coming in with $10. The Big Drop. Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. <laughs> <laughs> well, they banned Alex Jones. They're coming for Joe Rogan next, so they're going to take Joe Rogan down, too. Oh, we don't like what you're saying. Stop saying things. We're... <laughs> Uh, Gerald, thank you, man. Actually, that's going to put you at the top higher spot there. All right, let's see what happens. Um, hand off again to Jeff Wilson, and this time Wilson picks up about maybe five yards. They might have marked Jeff at five yards there for the outstretch, or unless they go back and get four. But uh, positive yardage, man. The 49ers defense really giving a spark here to the team. You'd like to see the offense do something with this if you're a 49ers fan. If you're a Rams fan, you hope Jimmy G chokes himself right now because this was a grind, man, to go to go about 70 yards down the field methodically and then throw an interception, which it really was a – it went off the hands of somebody, and that's why it wasn't a direct, a terrible throw. It's just didn't get caught right. Jimmy G backpedals a dangerous throw that was almost – intercepted off the back foot throwing behind himself almost yikes that was man I gotta tell you for that for that pass that Jimmy G overthrew earlier he was too cautious this time he wasn't cautious enough he had a hand in his face he lightly threw the ball on his back foot into double coverage that was dangerous that could have been picked and they would have been gone with the football so now the 49ers are going to punt and they're going to get, hopefully, pin uh, the Rams really deep. They'll have to go all the way up the field again. Well, the Rams and the 49ers throw it inside and down it at the two. The 49ers putting the Rams in an insane position. The Rams will have to go about 98 yards. Wow. Wow. Huge special teams play for the 49ers who seem to be thriving off the huge play of the defense. 
If only the offense could get it together. Wisnowski uh, is going to get blown in the locker room later for that punt. Phenomenal punt, and I missed who the person was on special teams who actually made the really big play by keeping it in. Anybody see that? Because that guy deserves a licking down below, if you know what I mean. Uh, what up, Trey Love? The Bengals! Bengals fans are here, pumped up. They're fired up. They're ready to watch the next game just to, to get wet. I mean, incredible stuff, bro. Unbelievable. The Bengals are going to the Super Bowl, man. Kansas City fans, I'm here for you. If you need a, a shoulder to cry on, I'm here for you. I'm going to open up the phone lines. I'm not going to be I'm not going to stay on long with anybody if you do call. There'll only be brief calls, but if you do need a shoulder to cry on, don't you cry tonight, you Kansas City people. Don't worry, I know what it's like to lose. My Patriots lost 17 years of the first years of my life. You want to talk to me about anything? Cronin's counseling sessions. They're open. What up, Matt? How you do Matt, how you doing, man? Moss Blaze, Rams, and Bengals. KC fans cry with recent Super Bowl win and their number one QB locked in for years. Yeah, I mean, listen. The Kansas City's gonna be fine. You're going to have Mahomes for at least another five years of he's going to be able to kick some ass, you know. It's going to be great. Well, the Rams are going to start off on their own three-yard line. Hand off to Gandalf. Oh, they're going to lose yardage. Wow. The 49ers defense step up and stuff. And there was a face mask earlier that they're showing a replay of. Did they miss this call? It looks like they did. They missed the face mask call. Wow. So the Rams have a beef about that. A behind-the-back face mask. And now we get an injured Ram. I think it's – is that Higby? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is Higby injured? Is that Higby? Holy shit, somebody in the chat, if you saw who that was, let me know. I'm not sure. That might be Higby. And now a big run and eight yards and then choke slammed by. <laughs> so eight yards. So the, the Rams have about four yards away from a first down on third and four it will be, I believe. Well, it will be third and two. I'm, I'm way off. What's wrong with me? How could I not see that? Third and two. What's going on, Jesse James? What's up, chat? What up, Trey Love? How you doing? Uh, wow, a throw to no man's land. They want a flag, and they might get it. Thomas was holding Jefferson, I think. and I, Thomas Jefferson, that's fucking hilarious. But uh, Thomas was holding Jefferson. Here it is, Tom. There it is. Thomas holding on to Jefferson, holding on past five yards right there. That's holding. That's pass interference, clear as day. Thomas Jefferson connecting once again through history here in this game. <laughs> what the hell, dude? <laughs> Thomas holding on to Jefferson or Jefferson holding on to Thomas, whatever. I don't know. I got it backwards. Oh, Pat Mahomes has a 10-year contract. Thank you, Inspector Todd. I don't know. I'm an ignorant Patriots fan. I don't know what I'm talking about. Wow, okay. So that's that's even crazier. That is so hilarious, man. Thomas holding on to Jefferson. Unreal. And Stafford with the handoff. Ooh, and lit up. On the run. Getting about four yards on that what looked like to be maybe a sweep. I missed it. Matt Stafford uh, 
is at a 1.12 right now for me on FanDuel. That's no good. I'm going to need him to kick some major ass. I'm going to need, uh, and I'm going to need Sony Michelle to go off. If Sony Michelle doesn't go off, I'm screwed. Unless Sony Michelle's not in the game. Is he not in the game? And I made a mistake again? Did I make another big mistake today? Did I seriously screw up again? Oh, the shuffle pass. Did I say shuffle? It's a shovel. A little shovel pass. You see Ward on that block? Tried to get in there and he just... He looked like he got fucking his hand sandwiched by a helmet. I know that I'm probably behind you guys. You're probably seeing plays ahead of me, which is fine. But uh, you're hearing me react to it later. But unless you slow up your connection with me. But I don't know. Well, I'm, I, Sometimes I'll be talking about the game. Sometimes I'll be talking about my own stuff. Um, let's go back to the donations, I guess. Um, what did you say? Uh, that was Go Bengals was the last one, I think. Looks like my little lass needs a shaving. <laughs> This is Debe's shitty in-laws. What the fuck does that mean? I mean, listen, I'm down for a lot of weird things, but going after in-laws is a little bit bizarre. I don't know. I mean, the Cincinnati Bengals win. The Cincinnati Bengals win. Let's go to the non-believers, the people who didn't believe in Cincy's chances. Go F yourself to the dumbass Bengals, uh, to the dumbasses. Bengals beat the F out of the Chiefs. We win in the Super Bowl. Deb A's shitty in-laws. All right. Well, thank you for that 333 donation. That is bizarre. But uh, (laughs) thank you. (laughs) What the fuck? Um, That's pretty funny. Let's be honest. The Bengals fans are going off right now. They don't know what to do, dude. They're They're eating people's asses at bars right now. The dude says, the problem is no one ever fumbles and it's impossible to get an onside kick. You know, how could you do, how could you change the onside kick to make it better? You know, I don't know. I'm not really sure. See, I, I would get a kicker that would be able to kick the ball so hard it would like go up and spike, like come down. Like, a, like you know, someone could kick a ball that would roll up in the air and then flip right down. And do something crazy, you know, and it'd be hard to catch. I'd rather do that. You know, go get some kicker who can squib kick something, but like, but squib kick it like a fastball. You know, like some shit that you never saw. Or kick it right at a player's face. That's another thing you could do. Why not kick off the ball? You Like, like how about on the kickoffs, you're allowed to kick it right at the other players, right? So... You're allowed to kick the ball as hard as you want, wherever you want. Aren't you allowed to do that anyway? Is that a rule? Because otherwise, why not do that? Instead of an onside kick, why not just punt it right at the other team's face as hard as possible? You know what I mean? What, what, like, what's the test? Like, t- you, they should test that. Get a bunch of players, get them out on the field, and, and have real game simulation and have the kicker do all kinds of different weird shit. And if there's like a one in 20 chance of it, it's like, well, maybe implement that shit into your strategy. Since the onside kick is, what's the onside kick? So what's the chances of an onside? By the way, how much does Michael Buffer make? We should look that up. We were kind of talking about it earlier. So let's find out how much, how much money is Michael Buffer worth, worth, worth? Michael Buffer worth. Michael Buffer's worth. Oh, see, I was see, I was right, guys. This guy only has to show up every once in a while and just go, let's get ready to rumble. $400 million, assuming this is even correct. But even if it was wrong, let's say it's way off and it's $200 million. Dude, the guy's worth $200 million. All he's got to do is show up and go, Let's get ready to rumble. Like, that's all he's going to do. I mean, this is the greatest job in the world. Forget Howard Stern. Forget actors and actresses. Forget all the other people that had to work very, very hard. You know what I mean? And listen, this guy works hard. I'm sure he does work hard. But do you know what I mean? Like, he works the least hardest of the, you know, like, it's the funnest. Like, just show up. 
just show up and go, oh, let's get ready to rumble. Like the worst thing about his job is traveling and trying to keep his voice. And like always trying to make sure his voice is good because he's going to have to work eight times a year. You know, I'm sure at this point, I'm sure at this point he barely works, right? He works. How many appearances does Michael Buffer make a year now? Ten? Probably ten. And they're probably, he probably charges like fucking a half a million dollars. It's probably like, yeah, it's $500,000 for Michael Buffer. Probably. To just come out and say, let's get ready to rumble. Like, that's it. Fucking awesome. That's the American dream, god damn it. Although, you know, to be honest, I was thinking about the when people say the American dream, and it's not even the American dream, it's just anybody's dream, like happiness. Like, what's what's happiness to you? The American dream is just a, a weird way of being, like, patriotizing happiness, right? Like, really, what it is is define happiness, your perfect life. And although my life certainly is not perfect, I am nowhere near a perfect person at all, uh, nor is my life perfect, it's in shambles almost, but the perfect moments that you that you hope for are what people also will say the American dream. But if you're not in America, it's the same thing, the European dream, the UK dream, whatever. You could substitute your country if you want, but it really isn't about the country. It's about happiness. And what that is is like today I was snow blowing, right? I was snow blowing with the snow blower that my uncle gave me because he's an awesome person, such a nice guy, was a firefighter, chief, and retired, and he was like, here's my snow blower. What a sweet thing. Um, and we're out, I'm out there snow blowing and my kids, my kids are yelling to me and they come out to shovel the driveway. And my daughter is like, can I try the snow blower? And I'm letting her use the snow blower and whatever. And she's shoveling stuff. And then Leah yells from inside the house, like I'm making eggs and stuff. Who's wants, you know, which, what do you want to eat or whatever? And like, there was a, I don't know why, but it's suddenly for like a second, like time was standing still for me watching my daughter, like, like pushing the snowblower. And then I took over again and started snowblowing while she was playing and my son was playing and my wife had yelled from the house like, okay, I'm getting the food or whatever. And for a second, like I looked around and the sun was bright shining on the two feet snow mounds that we were, I was, you know, plowing out and like, it was very tranquil very happy feeling tranquil feeling um almost like time stood still for a second and i thought this is the moment i feel good oh man that's a touchdown maybe is that a touchdown he threw the why didn't what what the hell is uh stafford doing what is he doing he didn't even try to chase that guy. Oh, man, it looks like a fumble. What is he doing? They're going to erase that probably, though, right? Is it a forward pass? Is it intentional grounding? What is it? I thought it was a pass that, that was incomplete because he threw the ball in the direction of a player, Blanton, and it didn't get to Blanton. But they're going to call that a touchdown? What the hell? Is this really a touchdown? Dude, I thought he threw that. I thought I thought somebody was in. I, I don't know, man. That looked like a pass. Oh, they're. Oh, they're taking it off. Okay, they are taking it off. Okay, no touchdown. Oh my god, I was like, wait a minute, like, wait a second. Um. Okay. And there goes. Oh, oh, Stafford got cream, dude. He put himself out there in fair game territory, though, you know? Man, Stafford got creamed there. He got creamed on, baby. First down, Rams. I grew up a Bruce big UFC fan, but didn't get into boxing until 2012. Wow. Elitist. Damn. I grew up watching him call boxing events in the 90s and WCW and... You know, but I mean, I'm 37, so I mean, I've been watching, I've been watching, you know, boxing. I don't watch boxing anymore, almost ever. I really don't watch boxing, but I used to watch a lot of boxing in the 90s, like everybody did, you know, and so a lot of wrestling in the 90s, too. So Bruce Buffer was just all around wrestling and boxing and everything. 
He did bust his ass back in the day. He did a lot of shows back in the day. He probably did. He really did. But I just still think it's just like, and you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe for like 15 years, Bruce Buffer was like every day was on a plane flying somewhere. He was in a lot of Hollywood movies too. I mean, so, you know, I I could be wrong. He might have busted his ass. He might have been on a plane to get somewhere, make sure his voice works, do the do the show, go right to the hotel, get to another plane to get to another show. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be, you know, dreaming up this like, oh, he was so lazy or oh, he didn't really do much. He probably maybe busted his goddamn ass. Maybe barely saw his kids. For all I know. So I do want to backtrack that a little bit that I'm sort of I guess I'm think I'm I guess what I'm talking more about is his career now. I would think now his career is more quiet, but Maybe he did have 15 or 20 years where he was just rolling, you know, and I, I could be dead wrong, you know. I, I wouldn't know. Maybe we'd get him on the show. I don't know. I don't think we could get Bruce Buffer on my show, but we could probably get Bruce Buffer with Joe Rogan or something. Has Bruce Buffer ever did a, uh, yo, what up, break up Google now? Yeah, dude, you got even that comment. I just had to un, I had to hi, unhide that. I bet you it's because your name is Break Up Google now. I bet you the Google moderator saw your name and like flag it or something. Yeah, dude, you're you're you two messages you sent. That's not even a bad fucking. Oh, you said the f word, so maybe that's what it is. But I don't know why the f word would get you censored like that. I don't get that. But yeah, break up Google. I saw, I see your message, but uh, one of them was deleted by a moderator, which isn't my moderator. One of them was deleted by a Google moderator, and the other one it was hidden, and I unhid it. So that's crazy. Yeah, you're definitely being censored or whatever. If you say enough things, you you start getting like the bot censor, so they start paying more attention to you. Like if if you say bad stuff and it gets flagged. I think you move to a certain level. So then when you start saying certain swears, they even un- they hide you. They don't fully shadow ban you or whatever, but sort of like you get modded more rashly and more heavily than other people do. So that I that I do know. But you know, I don't think that you're completely banned or anything like that, but um yeah, like and as it's and it's only when you swear too, I noticed. Mostly when you swear. And I don't know why that is, because other people swear in the chat all the time. I swear, you swear, other people. But your swears are getting blocked. And it's by the Google team for whatever, or the Google bot. And I'm betting it's because, like I said, you've got some kind of uh, pre, you know, prior flag or something. Which, it does go away after like 30 days. So if, if, you, don't, if you don't say horrific stuff for like 30 days, even if you're just swearing, it's okay. But if you're saying like horrific things... Like your level threat, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Like threat level or whatever starts going down. I've had meetings with people at Google over the years, and my Google administrator people and stuff like that. Back, I, not really anymore, but back when I knew more people in 2016 and 17 at Google, um, a YouTube team, and they would tell me that like that there was like a, there's like actually a setting. It's like a, a hidden algorithm setting that you don't even see. So if you're going around in chats telling like people to die of a certain like race or whatever. Um, what happens is like, you don't necessarily get banned, right? Unless people really report you the hell out of you or something, but you will get like, you'll get like a threat level tagged on to your account that lasts 30 days. So it'll be like spam date. There's like spam aggressive, you know, things like that. Um, most people don't get it cause they don't say anything horrific enough enough to get that. You know, you'd have to go in a chat that was pretty big and say, like, hey, you know what? I think blah, blah, blah people should die, you know? And then, you know, 10 people flag you, and then and then Google see like, it charts. And then if you do it again and again, you get charted again, and then eventually you get raised to, like, moderated, you know? So, yeah, it's weird, dude. And almost nobody talks about this ever. I never hear anybody talking about it, really. It's not even, it's not that big a deal, you know? I mean, you'd have to be, like... Like, you could, people run around saying, like, kill this, that, and the other thing, and they don't even, you know, it takes, like, it would take tens of thousands of of flags every day, you know, to get you terminated from your account, I think. So, but you will get put on the most aggressively modded, you know, list or whatever, but, which is all done by a bot. 
So, <laughs> right, <laughs> break up Google. What's up? That level midnight, threat level midnight. <laughs> Tupac and Beatles. Whoa. Um, I, I'm not a big Beatles fan, but I, the Beatles changed music. I mean, you can't lie about how much the Beatles did for music. I'm not a big Beatles fan. I would say that I probably like the Beatles about as much as I like Tupac. I like Tupac. I also like, I like, you know, I like the Beatles and I like Tupac. But, um, I th- so, yeah, I don't know. You, I might, I think I might even like Tupac better, you're right, but I don't think that, man, it's hard to say. The, the Beatles had a, a humongous, humongous influence on all music that changed music back in the day. And Tupac had a huge influence on hip hop and, I don't know if he, ch- I'm not sure if he changed hip hop, but he definitely, so I'd still have to say the Beatles are the bigger influence, but Tupac is huge, you know what I mean? Like, huge for a lot of reasons, but yeah, I'd have to say the Beatles are still the bigger, you know, overall musical influence, but yeah, that's a, ru- that's a, it's a hard thing to say that because it's such a different style that meant different things to a different group of people and a different amount of people like there's a lot of people that you know Tupac you know there's a lot of people that the Beatles didn't mean anything to them but Tupac changed their life but that's only because he was around recently you know but there's a lot of people in the 50s and 60s and 70s that the Beatles changed their life in the course of everything so you know it's hard to really say that i i'd have to go with the beatles and i'm not even a big beatles fan you know oh and a touchdown deep into the end zone at the very end of the end zone trailing away was cup coop cup of coop stafford goes cup of coop on the long winded rising laser beam that was dropped into the back right end of the end zone. And just a little bit too late to the party. <laughs> a little bit too late to the party. For the defense of the 49ers, uh, Tart got a hand in, but he didn't know where the football was. Oh, he just missed. Tart was blindly throwing up that hand to see if he could uh, get a piece of the ball that was falling into the lap of Cup Coop. And uh, Tart couldn't do it. He was playing the ball. Man, he missed that by about an inch or two. About an inch or two away. Wow. Touchdown Rams. They take the lead. Let's go to the let's go to the poll right now. The poll is still sitting where it was when this poll started. This poll is not budged. Has barely budged. When we had 35 votes earlier when I started this stream, it was 60-40. And as we sit at 186 votes, it is still 60-40. Wow. You know what tart means in England, right, Breakup? I don't know. What what does that mean? Like poop hole or something like that? I don't know. Mecca Sandwich, the king. The king of the wheel of funk. Monetize this. Is here. Mecca Sandwich. Great to see you in the chat, brother. Sushi over spaghetti. 100% uh, pinball zine. 100% sushi. Over spaghetti. I mean, there's no doubt about it, dude. What the hell is better than sushi? You can't come up with something. It's amazing. MF Doom. Dude, I was bringing up MF Doom the other day because when MF Doom died, we didn't even know he died and he'd been dead for months. That blew me away. That's why the other day when people were shocked about Linda McMahon dying, she had been dead. And they had announced it at a certain time, and it was like, wh- why would they do that? And I said, well, what do you mean? I mean, MF Doom was dead for, God, wh- how long was Doom dead for? Four months? I think MF Doom was, was dead for four months or something before we all found out about it. 
that really f- sucked, man. Rest in peace to MF Doom, man. I love that guy. I saw him in New York twice, I think it was. Or another time, too, but I didn't see him perform. It was just he was hanging out with um, some people I knew. But it was, uh, I. that guy is underrated. Is an uh, Underrated is an understatement. MF Doom is the type of guy that if you know, you know. You know what I mean? If you know MF Doom, you know. Like, that is... And that's really about it. Everybody else wouldn't, they wouldn't even, they'd be like, what? But, yeah, MF Doom is a, if you name drop MF Doom, my eyes perk up. I'm like, whoa, we're in a fucking, we're in a special category. If you can throw out MF Doom's name. Yeah, man, rest in peace to, um, yeah, we'll never got, I know, dude, I can't believe that. MF Doom pro- had so much shit he was probably working on that we don't even know about. Like, I mean, we don't even know. It's, I mean, maybe someday something will get released. You know, you don't know. But I just shocked. Uh, 317's on the phone. Hello. How are you, Joe? Good. How you doing? Who's this? Uh, this is Danny from, uh, I, I, I live in Indiana, but yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Um, well, can I, uh, you know, I have a friend out there. You should, you guys, you should, uh, go, uh. Hang out with him. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I I don't know who that would be, but I mean, I don't, who knows? That's a small world, so. It is a small um, world. Yeah, eh? I live like 30 minutes away from Indianapolis, so. Oh. But uh, I just wanted to say that I'm a big Bengals fan. Hell yeah. And you... me and my dad always go, like, for the past 10 years, and I've been a fan, and I've gone to the games, you know, in Cincinnati. And this is before, you know, they even blew up, but. Right. Man, I I just I just want to say that I love I love the Bengals how they've been playing they're they're just super cool. So well, this is what you say ten years of watching them now or or more or how long? Yeah, has it been? Uh, being a fan and yeah, and going to their games and supporting them and seeing you know their big their big wins and losses and just being there through all of it. So there's nothing like kind of crazy. There's nothing like a payoff like this. Like there really is. Yeah. So like, the only thing I can say is like. Like I, you've heard me say this probably, but how old are you? What are you, twenty five or something? Twenty three, younger? Oh yeah, I'm twenty five. Yeah. yeah. So when I was what seventeen, right? You heard me tell the story maybe if you listen. But when I was seventeen, you know, or sixteen, the the Patriots hadn't won. So you know, I spent you know about about ten years or so of my life liking the Patriots, liking the Bruins, liking the Red Sox, and none of my teams ever won. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. When the Patriots finally won, it was amazing feeling. When the Red Sox finally won oh, yeah. after eighty something years, it was amazing. So, and 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 same thing with the Bruins, right? And the Celtics and everybody. I I got to see all four of my teams win around my twenties, early teens or late teens, twenties. So, yeah, man, this is this is there's nothing like this. So if you guys can go and win yeah. the Super Bowl, like it's so rewarding to watch the games where they lost. People made fun of you. It's the mm-hmm. Bengals, you know, you mm-hmm. grind through these terrible mm-hmm. games and now you get a payoff like this, man, you guys got to be fired up. Yeah, I, I, I was, trust me, I was jumping out of my seat, everything, me and my, me and my dad both were, it was, it was just, it was a good time. Well, so, the, let's let's know. get to the real question, did you guys kill anybody? <laughs> no, no. Oh, because every <laughs> once in a while, you know, when a team wins and I just lose it, you know, I just go around and I start just popping people, you know, just because it's yeah. so exciting. No, it was just more of like a, an emotional happiness kind of feeling, you know. So. Yeah. Well, I, uh, there, yeah. The, well, like I mean, the, well, that kind of goes along with what I'm saying too. It's very emotional, very happy, and one of the best things you can do to bomb with your father is to order a hooker and choke her to death. I mean, like, and you guys can both do it, <laughs> and you know, you can be like, oh, you know, like, and you can really share in that moment and and scream Bengals as yeah. as the last gasp of her breath uh, comes out of her. You know, you just go Bengals. And you and your dad will never forget that moment, like more than the game. Like you'll never forget that time yeah. that you shared in, you know, death. Like it's unbelievable. <laughs> so go get one, yeah, you know, tonight right. if you can. Now, I don't recommend you do anything beyond that, but, you know, go get one, try it out. The 49ers might have got a touchdown. <laughs> yes, they do. They tie it up. Seven. Joe, Joe Burrow is, is – I'm just going to say – I mean, he's he's already – his his – his career is just going to skyrocket from here. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I mean, there's no way. I liked him from the day I seen him. And and 
Small fact, by the way, Joe Burrow actually has a stadium named after himself in, when he was in college. Wow. So. Yeah, no, he, no yeah. he's great. I like him. I like him, man. Someone sent me a some artwork of him, and I'm excited for the Bengals fans. It's cool mm-hmm. that you know, everybody's getting behind him. He seems really cool. He's fucking – he's calm as shit. Um, yeah. The end of that yeah. game – you know, I mean, dude, it looked like the 49 uh, – rather, it looked like the Chiefs were going to score a touchdown. It looked very uh, I know. scary you know, there. I was hesitant at first, no. but, but my dad told me. He goes – he said, Daniel, he said, listen, they're, just because they're, they're, it's 14-3 to 3 right now doesn't mean it's over. Just trust me, it always looks like this, and then games go right around. Well, and what happened, it turned right the, right the fuck around. It was yeah. crazy. Well, I mean, so. the defense. The defense has to be given, like, a rub down tonight because yeah, that, that for bang, real. That for bang, real. Yeah. Those interceptions, those plays were amazing. They yeah. were incredible. So. Bengals defense stepped up there, saved that. That could have been a touchdown. They had to kick a field goal. You get the overtime. Kansas gets the, the – KC gets the coin toss again. Um, yeah, and then yeah. you still stop him. So, man, congrats. And Bullock, Bullock hasn't missed a field goal this whole season. Can you believe that? That's crazy. All the kickers, man. Yeah. All, all the team's he, kickers right now. I don't know what's going on. All the Bengals, besides Joe, of course. But, you know, it's crazy. It really is. Let but, me... uh, okay, I'll, I'll let you get out of here, man. It's all right, long, man. So. Hey, congrats. No, I, I will. I no, I... am a huge fan of yours. So. Thanks, I've man. I've been watching you for like – like five months now, maybe a month. Okay, so, you're fairly yeah. new. That's cool, though, man. Yeah, no, no. I'm glad you yeah. called, man. I'm I'm happy for you guys, and thanks for watching and everything. And good luck, bro. We'll talk again. Mm-hmm. We'll see what happens in the Super Bowl. All right, thank you, bro. Have a good night. You too, man. Congrats. Good shit to talk to you, man. Get that hooker, okay? I'm telling you, you'll never no. There's nothing primal like bonding with your father over the death of a whore who didn't have one. Okay, let me. T- <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I can't even do it, dude. I can't hold it in. Oh, you fucking stupid fucker! <laughs> Wonderful job, our coaches. We always get it done. WHO Day, baby. <laughs> we always get it done. The Bengals always get it done. Will Tactics! Will Tactics. What's up, Will Tactics? Uh, Gerald Armstrong uh, with the $5 earlier. It really was $10 with the, with the time. I can't deal with what I said, bro. I was just trying to think of the worst shit to say, and that was, oh, my God, bro. Just <laughs> T22, T- T- I'll go to the parade if they win. That'll be fun. Yeah, go to the parade, meet a girl, you know. Go to the um, go to the Come bar out. and say, oh, you know, go to the bar afterwards, hang out with her. <laughs> I can't deal with what I said, bro. I got a clip of, that, of a whore who didn't have one. Okay. Oh, my God, bro. Get that hooker. Okay. I'm telling you, you'll never No, There's nothing primal like bonding with your father over the death of a whore who didn't have one. Okay, let me just... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, let's go to the phones again. Uh, 513, hello. Oh, my God, you got it done. Are you a Bengals fan or, or, or a Patriots it's, fan? It's, it's, it's Will Tactics, man. Oh, we always get it done, Will. We always ah! did it, man. You remember the you remember the video I made a few years ago? Oh my god, I forgot about that actually. I, did you see me doing it the other day though, where I was making fun of her or whatever? <laughs> was that because of you? Did oh, you man. did you bring it up? I was like, ah, ah, Super Bowl Fifty Two, ah, ah! <laughs> Tom yeah. Brady. We always get it done. Uh, that's gonna be me in a few weeks. Do I'm gonna be wearing that. That hat, and I'm gonna bring it back. Do you remember what I said too? I I said that year I go, we're gonna fucking lose because of this lady. Like, be, and then the Patriots also went and cut that. Um, they they did like a one of those like rally things, and they they got up there and uh, they 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 said, oh, they said um, they jellyfish us. Remember that was the jellyfish us. They jellyfish us. They us. us. And I and I and I I, <laughs> I I I literally said this out loud on my show. I kept saying it for weeks. I go. Dude, I don't like this. We don't normally brag, 
and I've seen a, a stupid uh-huh. woman Patriots fan who's like, we always get it done. I'm like, that's bad karma. And then th- the Patriots being like, they they hate us because they jealous of us. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. Jealous of us. Jealous of us. And I'm like, all right. Yeah, so, I remember that video, dude. So we're going to lose. I go, we're going to lose the goddamn Super Bowl. And we did. I was like, see, we fucking lost. Like, you don't hey, do that. I- at this point, I don't care if we lose the Super Bowl. I'm just happy we made it. Uh, the halftime show is going to be awesome because it's Dr. Dre and Eminem and Snoop and all them. I mean, I'm just happy, man. Like it's, it's. I didn't think we were going to beat the Raiders, honestly. Quite yeah, honestly, wow. sorry, I'm I'm cooking dinner in the background, but uh, yeah, like I honestly did not think we were going to beat the Raiders. Then we surprised everybody and beat the Titans, and I didn't think we were going to win that game. And then this game, I was just like, man, there's, I don't know if we can go into KC. I know we beat Kansas City earlier this year, uh-huh. barely, and but that was in Cincinnati. And then this game, I was like, man, I don't know. But we came out in the second half and just held, held them to three points. Like that, I, man, I'm still in shock. I can't believe it. Yeah, dude, I that was. That was crazy. I mean, I'm shocked because after seeing the Bills in Kansas, it was like, man, this is a juggernaut team. Like, this is going to be really hard. But, you know, I think it's because of the well-roundedness of the Bengals because the Bills kind of came out with, I thought they had a pretty good defense, but they definitely bent. The defense completely bent just like Kansas City bent. But today, you know, the Bengals... You know, they did a good job for the most part, and that's what it was. Their defense well, their, their defense has been very surprising all season. Like, they, their defense has been kind of up and down. But in the play, I don't know what it is about the postseason, man, but our defense have really stepped up this postseason. Well, I think that's the difference because, the, like I said, the other defense is kind of, you know, kind of caved to the offense of the other team. We, I know your offense is good enough, so it really came down to the defense being, being able to be legitimate the whole game almost. And so they Man, did. I'm going to I'm going to die if San Fran wins this game and then we end up playing San Fran in the Super Bowl because Again. I don't know if you're aware but this is number San 3. San Fran beat us twice. Yeah, they beat us twice in the 80s. So. Yeah. Oh, huge drop by Cuphead. Oh my god, he dropped the ball. He had he oh, had I think a, you're ahead of me. Oh, I, I'm ahead of you. Wait till you see this. He not only did he should he have caught the ball, but he might have been off to the oh, races. Oh, yeah, I just saw it. Okay. <laughs> he might have he might have been gone. I don't know. Yeah, he would have been gone. He would have been in the end zone on that oh, play. Oh man! Look at this play. Or he might not have been in the end zone, but he definitely would have been. He would have been Gonzo. That sucks. Oh, all right, I got. I gotta go. But all right, today, well, uh, congrats, kids bro. Are calling me, so appreciate yeah, it, man. I'll call back again soon. Thank you, sir. Good to hear from you, man. Love yeah. you, buddy. Will Tactics, longtime guy, great dude. Love that guy. He's cooking some shit right now. Shout out to Will Tactics. Give him love in the chat. Um. There's a huge diving play by Cuphead. He's shy of the first down, so it's going to be three and inches probably. Three and inches. That's what uh, – it's funny. That's what uh, Jesse's mom said to me last night. But Looks like my little lass needs a shaving. Donation. <laughs> hey, what's up? How's it going? Hey. Awesome football so far. Go Bengals. I've been watching you since 2015 and something recently I had a question about. Yes. Why did you decide to censor people's donations when they mention certain former co-hosts' names? Just curious. Um, if it's derogatory, it gets censored. If it's bad words, it gets censored. Um, people were saying bad things about people, and so I didn't want people saying bad things about people or trolling people and stuff like that. So probably what it is. My guess, if it's a name that was blocked, it was probably because we were getting trolled hard on him several times about certain things. So I probably blocked it so that you wouldn't be able to troll about it or whatever. <laughs> you know, people would say, you know, like terrible shit. Oh, my God, it's deep and it's off the hands of. Oh, my God. Scrawn, scrawny neck. Scrawny neck couldn't reel it in. I'm sorry. I like calling people weird names. Thank you for the donation, though, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's just about keeping the troll and stuff out. Um, my God, boom. Yeah, there was a guy. There was a guy who would write "dead wrong" dildo and like, you know, "dead every second" or whatever the fuck. "Dead wrong" dildo. "Dead wrong" dumb fuck. You know, they would just write stuff every second about certain people, and I'd be like, "All right, we'll just fucking delete that." <laughs> 
doxing people, people would dox people. So people's, certain people's names and addresses are banned, you know what I mean? So you can't do it. What up? Uh, Jake, is, Jake is in the hospital off and on every day. Jake is sick. The reason why Jake isn't around is because he's sick, man. He's bad. Uh, it's pretty, 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 uh, pretty rough shape. Jake is. You know. Damn. Nope. I don't think your super chats are banned. Breakup. I think it's coming in. I think it's coming in. Breakup. Su- Google now. What's su- up? Su- Super <laughs> chat party! Oh, yeah? I'm testing to see if my SCs are still banned. Between my three accounts, I've been listening and a patron for over a year now. Much love. Hey, man. Break up Google now. Thank you, dude. I don't like to suck ass too long or too much, but thank you guys for supporting my channel and supporting me and my friends and over the years. Everybody who's been a part of my shit and me over the years, thank you for the support that you give me and, and everybody. Uh, you guys are awesome. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for giving me, uh, you know, a roof over my head and stuff. Giving my kids a life. Because without that, I don't know what I... No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, hopefully Jake is going to be okay. But uh, he's he's getting a little better, but everyone... every. You know, every time Jake gets a little bit better, it's an, it's also then he gets a little bit worse again. Uh, what's up, Mr. Hardcore? Yeah, I, I've seen... Um, I stopped watching The Mandalorian because they got rid of that Carano chick. So I was, I was about at episode six of the first season, and I was getting excited because I really liked it. And I was in episode six of The Mandalorian, and things got spoiled for me. So that kind of sucked, but then I was like, all right, I'm still going to watch, and it's a good show. This is great. I love it. Finally, real Star Wars. Finally, something that feels like Star Wars. And then Gina Carano got fired, all because of nothing, really. And so then I went, okay, fuck you. And so then I I deleted my shit and said, well, fuck this show. So I'm not watching The Mandalorian anymore until they rehire her or whatever the fuck. Fuck cancel culture. I won't support anybody that fucking does it. Unless, like, she fucking attacks someone in real life or does something horrific in real life. You know, like, stabs a kid or something. Plays with a kid. How come all the people in Hollywood who molest children are are given awards? But Gina Carano tweets something out and she's taken off a show. Why is it okay to play with the butthole of a child, but you can't tweet out things that people don't like? I don't understand that. So fuck that. I'm not supporting that show. Even though John Favreau's awesome, until until Kathleen Kennedy is fucking has a dildo jammed up her ass and her fucking eyes duct taped shut, fuck that company. They fucked up fucking Star Wars as much as much as Star Trek has been fucked up by these asshole idiots who are in charge of Star Trek now. Fucking Captain Picard, fuck you. They fucking ruined Picard. They ruined... I'm not even pretending it's real, dude. This is the dumbest shit you've ever seen in Star Trek. They've ruined Star Trek. Star Trek The Next Generation was one of the best shows of all time. It's my favorite show of all time. It's had the fucking best stories ever in that fucking show. The best goddamn stories. I love them. And Star Trek Picard is a fucking goddamn joke. It's a fucking joke. And so is in Disney. So screw them. And I ain't watching... I'm not watching another fucking Star Wars anything until they fix that. And I'm done with Marvel, because I know Marvel's about to go the fucking whole dumbass agenda way, so I'm done with Marvel. Fuck that. I don't watch Hollywood anymore, really, as much as I can, you know? I mean, but I mean, the most Hollywood stuff I do watch is that I watch the Matrix movie... And I watched Ghostbusters. Now, I liked Ghostbusters because it was a love letter. Even though the movie wasn't really Ghostbusters and it wasn't, it didn't have the best story stuff and didn't have the best whatever the fuck, it was a love letter to the Ghostbusters universe. So I'll accept it. I'll take it. You know, 
you know, they sort of made up a little bit for Ghostbusters 2016, but I'll 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 accept it enough. You know what I mean? That the moment at the end was very nice. Um the Matrix I liked because to me it's not even really like the Matrix. It was more like a commentary on on sequels. It was a big troll job. You know, it was a big troll job on the movie studio and on everybody and on everything. And I thought that was kind of hilarious. Even though I was I'm a Matrix I'm a Matrix fan, even though the Matrix movies aren't the best, like the last two especially, the second and third movies. But I'm like, all right, I can't wait to see what happens. And then instead what what happened was they just literally made a commentary on how the world's fucked right now. They made a commentary on how everybody's on their phones, the sequels, the Hollywood bullshit, you know, the way that we're all zombified. Um, there was multiple comments about light and dark and yin and yang and monk things and how we need each other to, to, to succeed. You need a left and a right to succeed. You need a woman and a man to succeed. You need a yin and a yang to succeed. Like that's There was so much shit about so much shit in that movie. It was insane. But yet the movie was about nothing almost, right? The movie as a Matrix movie was like about nothing. Almost. And, and But yet the movie was about everything. Fucking weird. I don't know if I agree with taking a franchise that I really liked and using it at, to just get your weird message across to the Hollywood studios. They told the Wachowski sister, hey, if uh, you don't do a movie, we'll, we'll do it with somebody else. And so the Wachowskis were like, oh, shit. One of them said, fuck it, I'm not doing it. And the other one said, all right, I'm doing it. Uh, I don't want someone else to take this and... Whatever. And so they basically said, I'll take it. And then they said, fuck you. I'm going to hijack it and <laughs> do whatever I want with it, which was ridiculous. And you got to admire that kind of balls or, or not balls since the, the former male directors are now women. Uh, <laughs> but and e even even with the fact that the directors are now women and they used to be guys, the Matrix was less SJW than most of the stuff out there now. You would have thought the movie would have been just drenched in SJW, and it wasn't. It was drenched in, actually, some of it was making fun of SJW stuff. They made fun of some of the right-wing type of stuff and some of the left-wing type of stuff in the movie and just all of our existences. It was wild. I've never seen anything like that. I've, and I came out thinking I kind of like that, even though, like, that was the, I think, Red Letter Media said that was the biggest troll job of a sequel to something since Gremlins 2. Gremlins 2 is a gigantic troll on the fucking, like, oh, my God, Scott just knocked out somebody on the 49ers. Good Christ. Oh, my God. Jesus. He got speared right in the jaw. Debo Samuel just got unloaded on. Scott just, oh, you know what? You know what? He hit him in the shoulder pads. Oh, my God. Debo sold it. That's a clean hit. That's a clean hit. There's a flag on the play, but there's a clean hit. If they review that play, it's actually a clean hit. He hit him right in the fucking shoulder. That's a fucking clean hit. Wow. Wow, these fucking referees, man. Now in real time, I, I thought it was a I thought it was a helmet to helmet in real time. Wow. Holy shit. Oh my god, bro. What the hell? What in the world, dude? A lot of people tuned into the Rumble for the first time in a year watching wrestling, and they were like, ah, oh, it sucks. It still sucks. That's what a lot of people said that. Damn. Arthur Reyes, man, congrats on the Bengals win. A lot of, apparently we have a lot of Cincinnati friends and fans. I didn't know that. 
Thanks for the call, John. What's up? Tommy called me. When did Tommy call me? My bad. What up, Tommy? NC. I got your call. I didn't. I guess I didn't know. I wasn't an M. I didn't have my Skype open the other day, Tommy. My bad. I guess you don't use Discord anymore, huh? You still have a Discord channel. What? What? what was it taken over by zombies? I mean, like, what? What happens in your? What goes down on your Discord that you don't monitor anymore? You should probably delete it. Otherwise, people will start putting up like fucking naked sheep dicks and then say that you're a weirdo. You know what I mean? That was definitely a clean hit, man. It was a rough hit, but it was clean, I believe. I think. Break up Google now. Thanks for the $5, man. <clears throat> Freddy got finger blasted. That that should have been the the sequel to Freddy Got Fingered. So they they do Freddy Got Fingered, which is great. Everybody loves it. And then they do Freddy Got Finger Blasted. I mean, that would have been the perfect sequel. Or Finger Banged, right? Freddy Got Finger Banged. Or maybe maybe they couldn't say f ba like Finger Banged. Maybe that's like against the rules on a title of a movie or whatever. So Freddy Got Fingered is like you really nothing you can do about that. Oh, they picked up the flag? They took it away? Oh, good call. All right. I didn't even notice. Wow. How'd they get that writer changed? Was there... I mean, like, what happened? Did the referees talk? Yeah, so so I guess you probably couldn't say Freddy got finger banged. But you could say Freddy got fingered? You know, I never got that. So maybe you got... Freddy got finger blasted. Miss USA jumped off a building in New York City. Oh, yeah. Wow. Just today? Just now? Are you serious? What the fuck? That's pretty sad. That's also bizarre. Like, why that? What the hell? Over the death of a whore who didn't have one. Okay? Let me just... No, there's nothing primal like bonding with your father over the death of... Of a whore who didn't have one. Okay? Let me just... <laughs> like, oh, my God, dude. That's sad. That's, that's like, over the line, almost. Telling that guy that him and his dad should take out a whore. <laughs> like, I mean, like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. That's, that's, uh, that's, over, the, that's over the fucking moon. No, there's nothing primal like bonding with your father over the death... Of a whore who didn't have one. Okay, let me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's 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 a fucking rough one. That's a savage one. That's almost as savage as Jeremy Irons' call the other day. Wow, Garoppolo just driving right into it. Got to give it to Garoppolo. That was a heads up. But you're good off for you. I'm playing some Madden now, too, guys. Here we go. What's up, chat? Hit me with those comments. We can talk about anything. Phone line's open, 339-226-6610. Uh, that dude says, Freddie got fingered. Daddy, would you like some sausage? I had a good time in... Um, I had a good time seeing that movie, but I don't think I could watch that movie more than once. You know, I, I, more than... Oh, okay, I've probably seen Freddy Got Fingered about three times ever, right? I probably saw Freddy Got Fingered... I think I saw it once in the theater. Maybe in the theater? I swear to God, I saw that movie in the theater. And I said, okay, that was dumb as hell, but all right. And then um, I think I saw it willingly one more time outside the theater. Probably rented it, whatever it was. And then I would say that I think I saw it off and on one time because somebody was like, let's watch that. Oh, she jumped off a building. 
dude, wait a minute. Her impact will live live on live. Her impact will live on. Is the headline on People Magazine? What the hell? Are you serious, Troy? What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my, dude, what? Are you serious? Um, yeah, man, here it is. The woman who jumped off a New York City high-rise identified as Miss USA 2019. Damn. What? That's shocking. Is this going on right now? I can't even believe that this is real, dude. That's is this so this just happened just now? Ah, uh, wow. I mean, this is this is a crazy story, but we have a we might have an even weirder story because Tommy NC is here. What's up, Tommy? Oh, are you okay? I thought this was just a call between me and you. Are you are you doing a show right now? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm doing a stream. That's why I was saying I was talking about the world and the earth and whatever. I'm just talking about what's going on, dude. Miss USA just jumped off a building. Like 2019 USA just jumped off a building. People are telling me. That's insane. Yeah, dude. I mean, holy shit, bro. Um, like, I don't know if this is is someone in the chat tell me if this is just happening. Uh, so I thought what they were saying was that a woman from 2019, back in 2019, jumped off a building. But what they're telling me is that this is the the Miss USA from 2019. Yeah, man. Um, that's why I typed that to you. I was like, "Yo, I'm streaming right now. I'm talking about the world and snow and just hanging out, talking football." But yeah, if you want to go, you can get out if you want. We we'll talk later. But um, man, okay. What was that? Yeah, I'll talk to you later, man. You want me to call you when I'm done? Yeah, give me a call. We'll talk later. Okay. Well, I hope you're all right, man. Um, all right. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you then. Hey. Later. I thought we were going to get Tommy on because I said, hey, I'm I'm streaming and uh, go ahead and give me a call if you want. And he was like, all right. And I was like, cool. But uh, I guess he didn't want to be on the show. Uh, he, he actually sounds like he's not doing well. I hope he's okay. Didn't sound good. Um... He messaged he messaged me on Skype the other day and then he came into the show the other day he was chatting in the show. So uh, I said, "Oh man, well, hit me up if you want to chat. I'm just streaming talking about the snow." Oh, he really can't read that well, so he probably didn't even I didn't see I didn't see your call yesterday, Tommy. My bad. I was on Discord only, buddy. Um She was she was hot, dude. Yeah, she was gorgeous, man. She was gorgeous. She was gorgeous. All right, hopefully he's all right. That's He sounded pretty sad. I don't know what's going on. Um Mustafa, what's up, man? Oh God, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing. Uh, uh my voice is uh, strained. I think <laughs> from last night. Yeah, just from you know, I think a lot of yelling and talking all week and everything. Get on that rope adjustment, baby, or get on that. Uh, I don't know, uh, throat coat. Yeah, you know what? I got. I do got to get some. I've been taking lemon for a while, and I ran out, and the store didn't have any, so. Are you saying that you're sour, Joe? I am very sour in the. I am very sour and raw, in my throat, no doubt about it. Mm. 
I feel your pain. Well, actually, I'm not sure if you can feel my pain. So basically, the electrician came in yesterday. I was going to um, get the pay-per-view uh, via TV. And then for whatever reason, um, our electric, our electrician were, like screwed up our entire system. And we fixed it back up. And this is during the snowstorm, by the way. What the hell? <laughs> and, and next thing you know, uh, everybody else's cable box in the, in the, in the house like works, but except the, the main living room. And it just comes back as eight, 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 eight on the box at Verizon. And it just <laughs> sucks. Wow. And I looked up every way to fix this thing, and it's just hopeless. So I have to wait for a guy to come in next week. I'm just hoping that I'm able to watch the Super Bowl. How long is it? So how far out are they? They think they're going to come like what? We're going to come Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. No, I think it's just better because I can. I think just like their working hours are most likely better for them in terms of just get doing a quickie and just getting it done. Um, mainly just because I think they try different various ways on like let's say like a weekday when you get like that just like that young kid that comes in and goes oh it's just this and so and so and just fix it up just like that, you know because sometimes like the you know you bring a cable guy over and he'll like squeeze you for every freaking minute every freaking hour that like you know he's there just trying to figure out what's going on you know. Yeah, I, and that because they're probably so booked with all the shit going on too. So, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man. Um, overall, I mean, like you know, again, I'm kind of like I'm trying to. I mean, again, I normally don't do this, but I'm trying to find like a stream so I can actually watch the game. Oh really? Um, yeah. Somebody yeah. Should, I normally so, don't do that, but isn't somebody in the? Is there someone in the Discord? Maybe we can get someone in the. Hey, where's Jag De Panzer? I'll jump over there with you. I'll turn my. Uh, my thing off. Otherwise, I'll, hold on a minute. Let's see if we can get it to work. Hold on. Where's Jag at? I'll just hit him up. Yo, Jag, you want to stream on Discord, bro? He asked me about it earlier, and I said maybe. So maybe he's on here. Let me message him. I Word. Bet you, let me see here. Da, 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 yeah, da, da. this is weird. It's just so weird how, like, how my whole system's working, and I've been trying to figure out different uses of it, like via YouTube. I could do it on my own, but it's just not coming up. Right. Yeah, I'm on YouTube yeah, as well, but I think they blank it out when I share it. i got to figure out a way to do it. But I think Jag has it down. What up, Derek? Yeah. Let's go Niners, Derek Hans says. You might get your wish, man. You and um, uh, Frank the Tank, man, my Frank's got to be freaking out. I haven't talked to him in a long time, actually, but he's probably fucking, he's probably jerking off right now. A lot, a lot of, a lot <laughs> Speaking of, of that, I, I, was, I wasn't expecting Tommy to call at all. Yeah, about Tommy. Like, Tommy, I don't know what, it, well, he was in the chat last night, right? He was in the chat saying hi to everybody, and we're like, oh, hey, Tommy, oh, call he? the show. Yeah, he was in the chat saying, hey, everybody, and then we were like, oh, call the show, Tommy, what's up? And then, okay, this, but then oh, Tommy, ahead, but but then Tommy didn't. He what happened is he doesn't have Discord apparently or doesn't use it really anymore or something. So when he was calling the show, he did call the show apparently, but he called on Skype. So my Skype was closed. I wasn't even using it. I was using Discord only. So while he's calling the show on Skype, I never noticed. So um, I just checked Skype now and I seen that he called me a bunch. So I texted him and said, "Hey, sorry, Mr. Call. I I didn't even have Skype open." And uh, he goes, "Oh yeah." And I go, "Well, if you want to talk, you know, we can talk." Because he sounded weird. And then um, I haven't talked to him in a long time. And then yeah. I said, well, I'm streaming and I'm just talking about, you know, the world and football and whatever. And so then Tommy's like, OK. And then Tommy called and then he was like, oh, you're broadcasting. And I'm like, yeah. And he was like, oh, I, I don't want to talk about it in the air. So I said, oh, I'll talk to you off the air later if you want. S smart dude. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I uh, know. Yeah. I would, if I was him, anything personal, I wouldn't ever even bring it up. Just come on. Yeah. Just come on, have fun, say funny things. And then that's about it. Like, don't don't bring it yeah. up. It's funny. He actually did a live stream on his uh, Instagram not too long ago. Um, mm, and for whatever, I don't naked. know why, but for whatever reason, I showed up on there. And uh, he was like, hey, I'll do an impression for anybody that wants to do an impression. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, oh, God, I got to do this. All right, do Joe Cronin. I want to see this. And oh, boy. Does, Probably shit on he me. Takes, he took a baseball cap. It turned it around. That's like you know, he's like playing for like you know, I don't know, like you know. Wait, can I watch Sandlot this? Can something. I watch this video? I think you can. If you go to him on Instagram, oh my god, watch. it's somewhere. Find that. You got to find that for uh, me. if you can, okay. if it's up, because that sounds hilarious. He, he probably was like, "I'm a scumbag and I beg for money. I'm Joe Cronin. <laughs> Give me money for my kids. I'm Joe Cronin." That's probably what Tommy did. Pretty much. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'll I'll see if I can find it at some given point. 
Oh my god, I have to see that. That is a wildly funny idea. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, just I can, I can, I can see him being like, "Okay, I'll be Joe Cronin." <laughs> Niner gang, what's up, man? Boom, the Niner fans are going nuts out there. Tell you what, tomorrow yep. morning when you wake up and all that homeless fecal matter is out there, it's going to smell a lot better tomorrow after a win today. I'll tell you that. Yeah, like, dude, I'm still shocked from last week where basically I, what I thought, you know, Buffalo was actually going to have an opportunity to, you know, go to the Super Bowl because, again, there was just so much hype after when they beat the Patriots. Um, and then at whichever given point, I guess, like, you know, by the time they got into the overtime, I'm thinking, well, it looks like uh, Kansas City is going to, beat that ass in the last inning and i was just like oh you know i felt bad for him and i'm not even a buffalo guy but you know i mean the fact that they're you know they <clears throat> busted their ass just trying to get to the you know the playoffs i mean it's insane but i mean how's the game going on right now with the uh with the uh, 49ers and um what was it the uh rams was it the other team? Rams. rams right <clears throat> yeah pretty exciting um they're pretty close here it's uh yeah, it's pretty close, pretty exciting game. I think it's been a good game. It's, um yeah. but uh Jag is in the in the Discord now if you want to head over there, he'll he'll get the uh, screen going for you. Word up, word up. Uh overall, uh god, it was an overwhelming weekend of uh of sports <laughs> and everything. I'm trying to try to get away from it for a bit because I'm also uh, yeah. paying attention to what's going on in MMA, but overall, what did you think of the weekend so far when it comes to like, you know, football, wrestling, et cetera? I don't know. I had a. I, I feel drained. I feel like because we covered. I mean, we did an eleven-hour stream last night. I feel like I'm. That's uh, insane. <laughs> you know, I just got done snow blowing and snow plowing and hanging with the kids and scooping up, shoveling things and doing all those things and uh, paying some bills I had to pay. And then I sat down and I feel like I feel like I've been glued to this chair for for like days. I feel like I haven't yeah. moved. It's kind of funny. Yeah. Well. Then then all of a sudden now we have. Uh... Raw. Raw tomorrow and then Raw's the a sleeping a pill. And, Raw's yeah. the sleeping pill. Raw will put after all this over the weekend and everything. Raw's like could put you to bed Monday. Yeah, and it, it probably my cable being knocked out is probably a blessing in disguise. So I'm probably gonna <clears throat> yeah. not really miss it. But I am gonna miss AEW. Unfortunately, I have to mm. wait. Like I said, about like a good seven days. But other than that. It's fine. I'll just be able to, you know, take care of my business as well. I'm sure, if, anyway, you, I'm sure if you came you into the Discord, somebody would be, you know, would would Garguts would put it on. I'm sure you can. Yeah, catch most it. likely. You know, he'll 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 get that illegal streaming. No, I'm playing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll definitely check that out. All right, man. Head over to the, yeah. Head over to the Discord. I'll be I'll be over in a few. All right. Cool. All right. Keep it hard. <laughs> I wonder if you heard what I said about that dad and son and the hooker earlier. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. <clears throat> do 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 do. What's up, chat? Uh yeah, if you can, Jag, if it's not a problem, uh that's cool. But you don't have to, you know. What up, Derek? Man, people were fucking well, I won't even say it. Yeah, we did 11 hours yesterday. Oh. Oh. This guy just hit me with a 100-yard bomb, dude. This guy just chucked a 100-something thousand-yard bomb to score a touchdown on me. You talk about Sunday Night Gaming. Sunday Night Wedding. Who's Jason that just followed me on Twitter? If you followed me on Twitter and your name's Jason, can you uh, identify yourself in the uh, chat, please? Let me know. Otherwise, I'm assuming this is some kind of troll. Four followers. <clears throat> That's suspect. Or following four people with no followers. That's suspect. That's a little sus, bro. You got to watch out for those Madden bombs. Yeah, I should have been set up in a quarter defense probably. Here's a big kick to the 49ers, 10-7. to 7. Oh, I just blew it. I was looking at the game. Oh, my God, the Rams just annihilated. 
Who is that? Oh, my God. It was Samuel again. Samuel just got annihilated coming out of the backfield there. Oh, my God, bro. What up, Derek? I bitched out and fell asleep during the rumble at, like, the fourth entry. Really, Derek? Jesus. We were having a blast here. Were you in the chat last night for the rumble? Everybody gave us really good feedback about last night, man. We appreciate that. That was a fun time. I really did have a fun time last night. That was fun. We had a little bit of an issue with trolls and people being psychos in the last hour of the stream, but we had 10 hours straight of just quality. We only had to block a few psychos. And honestly, it was probably people under troll names just to get me to say things so they could have something to talk about for 10 hours or something like that. Unfortunately, it's probably what it was. But yeah, it was a pretty good stream. In 11 hours, we really didn't have to deal with too much bullshit. And um, it was pretty good. I'm surprised. I thought we'd have more trolls, more crazy bullshit. We actually didn't have too much of a t tough time with the modding last night up until the last hour. But um, but that's when the that's when the freaks come out at night, you know what I mean? They're like, damn, I gotta, I need something to talk about. I need to get Joe triggered enough to say something about this so I can spend seven hours of my day talking about him. That was fire. Fire night. Yeah, what? Somebody was like, if I say this 10,000 times under five different names, it's, and, and you know how you know who, you know how you know, you know who it is? Whoever talks about whatever I say, like if I say like one little comment to the trolls who said that, whoever then brings it up and calls me whatever the fuck they do about me, um, that's that person. It's them. They're the one doing it. They do it on purpose to get the, to get the clip or whatever. So whoever, whoever repeats over and over again, dumb shit that doesn't have to do with anything really other than like bullshit talk that get, obviously gets me to say something when I'm a little bit, you know, a little drunk. I was hammered last night, but, um, whoever's doing that over and over again, that's the person. Cause they're, that's what they wanted. They're like, Oh cool. I got what I, okay. I need, I mean, dude, that's a mental illness that people have. People have a mental illness. I got so many messages earlier today. I guess some. I was out shoveling. I don't know what happened, but I guess people were crazy talking shit or something. I got so many messages from people that were like, wow, man, these people have a mental illness. Like a sick, they're sick. And I'm like, well, I guess so. I don't know. It's been going on a while. I don't even know what happened still. I, I don't even know what happened, but I can guess. And yeah, people are sick, bro. There's some sick people out there. Like real fucked up shit, but what are you going to do? The weird thing is you watch it. You watch it and then you tell me it's sick. I was like, "Well, you watch it." Why? Well, you know, like maybe are you sure you're not sick? I mean, like what are you talking about? Yo, Shell, what's going on? Derek Hans says that's exactly why they do it. 100%, bro. You're dead right. Most people can see it. I get messaged about it all the time like, hey, man, this is clear as day. This person's fucked. Fucking weird doxing, calling family members, people, like weird shit, dude. I don't know why people do that shit. That is exactly why, Derek Hans. I know you've, you've told me a lot of shit, man. You've been right. You've been right. Oh, is Elliot. Oh, nice tackle. 10 to 7, 49ers, break up Google. What a bunch of uh, F-bombs, Derek. Bleh, eh? I don't know what that means. Yo, what's up, Shell? I hope you guys have had a good day, man. Oh, my God, Garoppolo just got, just fucking, <laughs> Garoppolo got back suplexed by be having his pants pulled. Did anybody see that? Garoppolo was, like, back suplexed. Oh, my God, that was funny. No, I got intercepted. No. Oh, my God, No. Oh my god, dude! I just blew it. I just blew it. We had it. We were gonna get in the. I was gonna. I was on the way to a touchdown. We would have tied the game, and I just blew it. Why do I have so many guys in deep? I, why am I in deep scheme here? Oh my god! We're lucky we didn't give up a bigger run than that with that scheme. Oh, I'm gonna have to call a timeout. He fucked me on this now. Now I fucking wasted a timeout. Guys, you couldn't play any worse than me right now. You couldn't be playing any worse than I am right now. Just had to burn a timeout for no reason. 
Thanks for streaming during the championship games. Jassup, thank you, bro, for uh, all the support, man. Become a member down below if you guys want. The donation link's up if you want to do it or can do it or whatever. Oh, man. This is going to cost us time. Ooh, I missed it. Was that a catch? Was that a catch? And who caught it? Oh, it was Elijah Mitchell. Elijah Mitchell goes up and grabs one. Easily, though. I mean, Garoppolo hit him right up with it. Let's see what we can do here. He's going to let the time spoil, expire, spoil. All right. We're going to call a timeout. We're going to roll the dice here, man. This is do or die. We need this time on the board so because I wasted that timeout. So this is do or die. We have to stop him every time here. That was all right. All right. Call timeout. Um, let's go with a edge blitz. He might actually try to throw it this time is what I was thinking. And that might still happen. Yep, he might throw it this time. Yep. Oh, my God. It's going to be a race. And we got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, he's got, he's got room to run it, though. He's going to run the same play, I think. Oh, no. We blew it. Oh, my God. We blew it. Oh, guys. I blew it. I'm coming in the Discord in a minute, Jag. I'll be there in a minute, Jag. Thank you. Good shit, Jag. When I come in, I'm going to... Oh, 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 my God. Oh. I'll come up with another name. What do you mean you dropped the F-bomb? Um, thanks for streaming during... What F what's the F-bomb? Oh. Oh man, off the t off the hands and almost got intercepted. Dude, did I sleep through halftime? When did halftime happen? When the fuck did halftime happen, guys? Was it when I was taking calls and that's why I, I didn't realize it? Look at his look how he looks. I lost this game for that one time not paying attention. And then I blew it because, uh, well, I blew it. Let's just say it. I blew it. I blew this game. I blew the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah, that, that, well, that will get you taken off the uh, Google will kind of get you for that. Yeah. Uh, what up, Derek? I keep, I'm just going to keep saying that to you the whole stream. I'll be like, yo, what up, Derek? Just keep saying that. What up, Dirk? Um. Oh, maybe uh. Maybe this guy's real. The Soundwave ninety two. What is this? <laughs> uh, Soundwave ninety two sent me Baron Corbin's uh. Tweet. Sadden Corbin. He's now Sadden Corbin. You know? He's a little sad. Sadden Corbin. Oh my god, no. Thanks, Chuck. What's going on, man? Thanks for sending me that message. I just saw it now. My bad. I, I just saw it. We're hanging out. You know, we got about a we got about two hundred subscribers last night. That was cool. Shout out to everybody who uh joined uh the channel last night. That was pretty badass. So appreciate that. Good shit. Thank you. 
Much appreciated. Welcome to the channel. We're live after every single WWE event, usually. And um, AEW on Wednesdays. And then I just talk about anything and everything I can. Especially a lot of stuff on Patreon. Um, where we're going to have some stuff coming up on Patreon the next couple days. So, look for that. I also put up the whole predictions audio from the other day of the stream. So, you can go listen to all of our predictions. And um, you can... Um, You can uh, hear our predictions on the Super Bowl. I mean, not the Super Bowl. They're on uh, Royal Rumble. And you can listen the audio form and see what we got right and uh, what we got wrong. And break it apart. Pick it apart. Have a good time. Chimera Z number one president dictator. Google beat search engine. Oh, Jesus. I shouldn't even say that. <laughs> Man, the 49ers defense right there swooping in and keeping them in the negative, you know? Pretty crazy. 10-7, to San Francisco, 10-43. Left in the third quarter. We got a second and 11 situation. Johnny Bravo, what's going on? Kevin. What's going on, Kevin? How's everybody doing? I just I got done snow plowing. Do you want to see some of the shots I got? Dude, I got some beautiful shots. Let me upload them real quick to my uh to my zone here and I'll uh, get I'll show you some of the stuff on camera that I got. I got some pretty beautiful shots. Um I'll upload that. And then we'll upload do 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 All right, we'll get that going for the upload. We'll see if that uploads quick enough that I can show you guys. But I do. Um, I had nobody ask me for help today. Sometimes people are like, "Hey, anybody have a snowblower or whatever?" And I, my snowblower is not the best, you know. It's whatever, but it's damn. I'm damn lucky to have what I have. It's a very nice one for me. Like, you know, what I mean, I got it for free, so I mean, uh, it's a really nice one. It's been it's done well for me. It's been great. And um Yeah, I really appreciate it. I, I man, this thing has saved us so many times. What up, James? Yeah, that was fun, Derek. I had a lot of fun last night. The rumble was kind of weird, you know. I I just had more fun because we were all hanging out here. If we weren't hanging out last night, this that rumble would have been probably I would have given the sc I would have had given the a worse score. You know, I would have given the rumble a worse fucking rating. You know, let's be honest. I gave that show a good rating because you know, I had fun basically. It would have been what fifteen hundred dollars? Oh, what the snowblower? I don't know what it would have been. Uh, it might have been. It might I don't know. I have to look it up again. I forget. But I got lucky. He was like, "Hey, I'm moving to Florida, and you know, you guys need a snowblower. Here you go." And I was like, "Wow, this is amazing." The rumble was like entertaining, but it was definitely bad, like in a way. But it was like, what? What else are they gonna do? You know. Like, I also thought about, like, what the fuck else are they going to do? You said you... I don't know what that is. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Jag DePanzer, yeah. There's a couple people on the call that probably people didn't even recognize who they were. But they were long-time people, most of them. What a catch there by the Ram. Ronnie the Ram. Who was that that caught that ball? Great catch there by Odell Beckham Jr. That's why. Odell, first he juggled it a bit. Little juggle, bobble. And then he grabbed it, tucked it in, and circled. Swiveled. Big catch for Odell. But he's wide open. He's leaving him open again. Nobody covering Blanton this time. 
Number 86, Blanton. Number 86, Kendall Blanken. <laughs> Kendall Blanton, number 86. I'm Pat Summerall. Any minute now, John Madden is going to finger bang me below the desk. The Rams line up just shy of the 40-yard line with a 2-1 and one motion. Stafford with the handoff and approaching the line and not getting it and being pushed back forward. Progress will take him within inches of the first down for Akers. <laughs> Remember that, man? Pat Summerall always sounded so just... What's the word? Not monotonous. What's the word for monotone? But like excitingly monotone? You know, Pat Summerall was like excitingly monotone. I can't believe it. I can't believe that I suck cock of the ball sack man. Um, here we go again. Inches away on the third and one. Stafford fakes a handoff. Tackled almost in front. He gets rid of it. And the Rams will be forced to punt. Stafford gives up on the play as the 49ers storming the castle. San Francisco defense has been tremendous and tenacious. And it started that way with a with an interception. <laughs> you know, Pat Summerall was great. Um, Tex Talk. Oh, my God, dude. Jag DePans are Texas in the Discord right now. Texas in the Discord. And Jag DePanzer said, Tex Tosterone. <laughs> dude, that's fucking hilarious. Tex Tosterone. How bad do you think Raw is going to be tomorrow? Vinny Assad. What's up, Vinny? I'm concerned, dude, that it's going to put us to sleep. After the football today, the Royal Rumble yesterday, and all the other stuff, whatever that's been going on in the world, I am concerned that Raw is going to put us to sleep. You know? Very concerned. Yo, Paul. What's up, Paul? Uh, Paul, I've... Or, no, so, Paul, listen, man. I have I know you were telling me about this earlier, but... um. I don't understand why, I don't get why people do what they do. I, I don't know why people support stuff, but I don't really give Derek, I don't want, I don't, you know, Der, Derek doesn't really do anything. I don't think Derek does anything bad to me, so I don't have a problem with Derek doing whatever he wants to do, you know what I mean? So Derek's okay, man. Unless Unless there's something that is being said I don't know about, I don't know. Although, um, but yeah, whatever, dude. I, you know, I wouldn't bother him. A lot of people come over here and who knows why people do what they do. I don't know. I, I, I don't have a problem, though. It is whatever. What up, Evil? How you doing, man? Get wet. Um, Trey says a good name for him is testosterone. Yeah, dude, I was just dying about that. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Testosterone. Jag depends or you heard it on uh, January 30th, 2022. Testosterone. Testosterone. Earlier I told this guy, man, there's nothing like a father and a son bonding over murdering a hooker. Like if you really want to bond with your father and your son out there, there's nothing like choking a hooker together, like to bring you guys together if you're having family issues. You know what I mean? There's nothing primal. Like, there's nothing more primal and bonding than, you know, no, there's nothing primal. Choking a hooker with your father, you know, and both unloading on her, you know? So give it a try. You know, at first it seems strange, I think, you know, from what I hear, but, you know, you guys may bond and, and become lovers. Or maybe I'm not lovers, but become very close, like with uh, your 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 son or father. You're almost going on an expedition in a way, you know, to some crappy town in Nevada or something like that. Nothing primal, 
like bonding with your father over the death of a whore who didn't have one. <laughs> oh my god. Like bonding with your father. No, there's nothing primal like bonding with your father over the death of a whore who didn't have one. Okay? Let me just <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's a fucked up thing to say. Obviously I'm kidding, but if you don't know that's a joke, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. You fucking stupid fucker! No! Oh. Jesus. What do they put in the water over there in Minnesota, man? Good Christ. What kind of fucking water they feed you Minnesotans out there? To get that mad. You fucking stupid fucker! All I can say is, listen. You fucking stupid fucker! <laughs> I have never... <laughs> I've never gotten that mad that I would do something like that. You fucking stupid fucker! <laughs> because hey, CM Tony! Punk hey, Tony! Life. Stop fucking messaging me, you psycho faggot! Whoa. Fuck off, Tony! Oh. You fucking stupid fucker! <laughs> Jesus. These people get so worked up about everything. You fucking stupid fucker! <laughs> you fucking stupid fucker! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Fucking wow. druggy piece of shit. Oh, fuckhead. Man. Go die, you fucking loser fuck. <laughs> you fucking stupid fucker. <laughs> you fucking stupid fucker. I lo that was a great rant, man. He lost his mind. Sometimes you gotta lose your mind, I guess, you know? Um... Oh, yeah, so my videos might be done. All right, let's take a look at them. I'm going to be joining the Discord in a minute. Textosterone. It's the best name Any I've heard. I swear to God, it's one of the best names I've ever heard. Oh, my bad. I just hung up on you. Uh, 227, uh, call me back. I thought Tommy was calling again. Tommy NC called in earlier. He'd been in the chat last night, and he was and he was in the chat saying hi last night, all last night. And I said, give a call. And um, I said, fine, why don't you call up then? But he, he called on Skype, and we were on Discord, and I guess he doesn't have Discord or whatever, so I'll be done in a few minutes. What's wrong, honey? And so he called on Skype. So my apologies, Tommy. I didn't know you were calling on Skype. I didn't have Skype open last night, Tommy. Um, but uh, I will, um, I'll will i call you off air because he said he was wanted to talk, but off air. I haven't talked to him in forever, man. I haven't talked to him in forever. It's good to catch up. Sometimes it's over now. Let's go to a Royal Rumble highlight. Didn't, like, um, What's-Her-Face had, like, a malfunction, like, on a SmackDown, and they left it in the tape for live viewing? All of Probably. it, dude. I like it. Sometimes you got to leave it in, you know? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> That's a joke. Joe, 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 I figured out something. I figured yeah. out something. Yeah. I, th I think this this cracks me up just because it's so stupid. Like, this is such a dumb thing to say for me, which I say a lot of dumb things, but I try my best to throw out the dumbest shit to make it funny or dumb joke, but this is just a weird... Didn't, like, um, What's-Her-Face had, like, a malfunction, like, on a SmackDown, and they left it in the tape for live viewing? All of Probably. it, dude. I like it. Sometimes you gotta leave it in, you know? <laughs> 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 I think it's the way I'm saying it, like, eh, sometimes you gotta leave it in, you know? Oh, uh, it's so, it's like, that cracks me up, too. But it's such a dumb thing. I don't know why it's that funny, but it is. To me, might not be funny to other people. Maybe it's not even funny, but stupid shit makes me laugh. And some a lot of stupid shit is stupid shit I say is stuff that I, I would laugh at if I heard it. You know what I mean? All right, Paul. Let's just stop now. I'm going to have to stop that. I appreciate you defending me, Paul, but uh, I don't want to get into that stuff. You know what I mean? If people don't want to stick up for me, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Fuck it.
I'm a piece of shit scumbag and, you know, kill me and take me out and do whatever. I don't know. What am I going to do? Make people defend me? You know, who cares? If no one cares enough to defend me, fuck it. You know, what am I going to do about it? Who cares? Assuming that's even really Paul, yeah. Who the fuck knows? We're just going to go ahead and time you out, though. Paul, if that's really you, DM me on on Twitter, by the way. It's not up it's not up to people to police for me or whatever. I don't like piling on people. You know, I don't like piling on people and doing a you know, a bunch of shit on someone and, you know, spending all day piling on somebody with you guys or something. So I don't really want to do that, you know. I leave that to other people. But What's weird is that people will get more mad at you than the other people, but, you know, what are you going to do? Appreciate it, though, Paul, if that's really you, but, hey, at least you had the balls to do something. Oh, it really was Paul. Oh, shit, it really was Paul. I thought it was because he had been talking to me earlier, but it really was, it really was Paul. Uh, she's an anti-boner, she's anti-boner material. Huh. What up, Jag DePanzer? Yeah, no, no, that's a true statement, Jag. Actually, Jag, you know what? I gotta be honest, this is a good time to put that bear through a flaming table. Because it's like snow on the ground everywhere. I got lighter fluid out back. And I've got some tables that I could use. This is actually, might be the time to do it. I could get Leah with the fire extinguisher in the side, you know, make sure. Um, I, I've been here long enough that I don't care. My neighbors know who I am now. That might have to happen, Derek. That might have to happen, uh, not Derek, uh, Jag DePanzer. That might have to happen, Jag DePanzer. Um, don't think I haven't forgot about it either. I've always been thinking of ways to do stuff, but uh, thinking about ways to do that, I owe that to everybody. But, um... You know, I'm concerned. I'm actually been concerned about getting hurt because I have no health insurance. I I kept thinking like, wait till you get health insurance, then do it. Because I keep wanting to do some crazy shit, and then I'm like, no. Because if I if I break my leg or something or something stupid, which I shouldn't. I've always been Gumby. I've always never gotten hurt. But recently, you know, I've been tweaking things, and I'm older now, and I feel like, what if I just do one stupid thing like? And one emergency room bill would be the end of me. You know what I mean? I, I don't even see a doctor on a regu- at all. I haven't seen a doctor in forever. I have no money for, and I don't have insurance. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little concerned about it. But at the same time, I never used to ever be concerned. I would always be like, yeah, I'll fucking do anything. Let's go. I, I'd still do it. But if I just had insurance, I would do anything. Because I'd be like, oh, if I got hurt, fuck it. Go to the ER. They take care of it. Whatever. 49ers touchdown in the end zone. Kittle. Kitty. Get some kitty litter in the end zone. Ocho Cinco in the end zone. 16 to 7. The 49ers are doing it right now. They want that third matchup with the Bengals in the Super Bowl. You'll need it before you turn 50. Andre Lavandero. And, oh, the field goal is good. The extra point barely good. Hooks in there and just barely makes it. Nobody likes to get wet. Uh, Paul, you should be untimed out soon. Just keep the leave the realness out. <laughs> I don't yeah. Let me look at the screenshots. All right. All right, Paul, I'll look at the screenshots. I'm looking at the screenshots. 
I'm looking at the screenshots. Do you want to get weird? Um. I don't even know. I I don't know what I don't know why someone said something about going on for 40 minutes. Like I didn't These people go on for hours about me. So like I don't understand why I'm a big problem for making the joke and for also like telling the truth. I don't understand that. Um but let's see. I mean, I detect no lies. I mean, all I see in all I see in these screenshots are trying people trying to manipulate Derek. You know, that's all I see. You know, I really don't see any anything. That I can really tell. Yo, Busy, what up, Busy? I think the only thing Derek did was try to... He really didn't know what to say. Like, there were people were coming at him, telling him all kinds of bullshit. Most of it's bullshit. And most of it's just them trying to manipulate Derek to hate me. And he's like, oh, shit. Like, I mean, when you say that, I, I guess that's fucked up. You know, that's all I see Derek saying. I don't really think Derek said anything that that bad. I think he's just trying to enjoy everybody and he has to deal with bullshit. I'm not going to be the, I'm not going to try to manipulate Derek and tell Derek what to like or not like. I'm not going to do what other people do to him. Derek likes me, that's cool. If he doesn't, that's cool and if he likes other p- things, he can he's cool, man, whatever. I'm not going to manipulate him. He can make up his own mind about what he sees. As far as I'm concerned, so yeah, I don't you know, I appreciate it, but fuck it, you know. I don't know. That's just people trying to manipulate him and you know, what are you gonna do? I don't care about that. Jessica Alba looking hot. Derek Hance, why don't you uh Photoshop your dick in her? <laughs> fuck the Rams, I live in LA, Liquid Motions. What's up, Liquid? Oh man, did you donate and I missed it? Oh fuck me. Hold on a minute. Hold on a second. I'm going to head over to Discord in a second. I see her and I drool. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't? She really is. She's the color. That skin, remember when I always talk about, like, mixing everybody together the right way and getting that golden crisp or whatever? I think that might be the color. Or maybe one if white guy got with her, the next kid coming out would be that slightly shade a little lower. That's that perfect glow. <laughs> <clears throat> you think he's manipulating me, Paul? What's the goal? What What does he get out of manipulating me? You think? What do you? Th- I mean, like, let me ask you. Like, what do you? Th- I'm honestly asking you. I'm not. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, and I appreciate you looking out for me. But what do you think he's manipulating me for, Paul? Like, I'm just, I'm just asking. Like, I really am asking. What is he manipulating me into? What does he benefit from manipulating me? There was a guy, you know, there was a guy who used to do this to everybody. His name was Y Society, and I deleted him a long time ago. But unfortunately, I can ignore, pretty much ignore, the trolls. I and look at his look. Oh shit! How he looks. Oh. Look at his look. How he looks. Touchdown look at his look. for me. Like a crook. Look at him. Look at the nook. Look and look at his look that he looks. Look what he looks like a crook. I'm coming for you, crook in the nook. I'm coming for you. I look like a crook. And look at his look. How he looks. 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 Look at his look. You get shook. Look at his look. You get shook. Look at his look. How he looks. Look at his look. He looks like a crook. Look at his look. You get kind of shook. Look at his look. Look at his look. How he looks. Look at his look. You get you should. Oh, I thought the song was still going. 
Um, donated by C.E. Moore. Look at that. Oh, they're really stirring the pot now. C.E. Moore with a donation. Haven't seen that guy in a while. Thank you for the $6. C.E. Moore. Wow. That's getting interesting out there, huh? In the wild of YouTube. You guys are crazy. <laughs> I like to have fun, though. I like to have a fun time and, you know, make silly jokes. I'm not really into all the malicious stuff. It is it is bizarre what people do. But, you know, people support it, you know. They go and they support it. So what are you going to do, you know? Uh, it's it's obvious that the people that the, the trolls, Derek, the trolls aren't trolls. They're literally people who have a show to do. It's not trolls. It's people who have a show. So they troll. They they don't troll you. They try to entice you into saying something so they can do a show on it. It's not trolls. It's not some rogue person that's that's delivering the news to somebody. It's those people. It's obvious. You know what I mean, bro? Absolutely. And yeah, Derek. Um, a lot of people, dude. Everybody come. A lot of people come to me. You know how you guys are like, oh, you know how Paul is like, oh, Derek. You know how could you be doing that when you're blah 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 blah. Well, there's a whole bunch of people that are you. They they literally come to me and they go, oh. There's one guy who literally fucking changed his name to donate to me because he's afraid. But but then he's but then he goes and and he hangs out and has a good time with other people. But then he's afraid of them. He says, I don't understand that at all. And then he donates to me under a different name. <laughs> That's how fucked up you, some people are, you guys are, are out there. You guys are fucking crazy. That's fucking weird, dude. That's some weird type of Cold War type of shit going on. That I don't condone at all. Oh, man. If I had it my way, everybody would get along and fuck, man. Nobody would have left my, my shit and we would all still do shows and I'd have a whole bunch of things going on. But, yeah, man, I, you can't. What am I going to do about it? People leave. They want to leave. They want to make their lives about bashing me or make their lives about trolling me on Twitter or make their lives about threatening me or whatever they want to do. I mean, what am I going to do about it? You know, besides keep documenting everything and talking to lawyers and just waiting to see if it ever needs to be anything needs to be done ever. You know, I don't know. But other than that, fuck, who cares? You know, what are you going to do? I just document it all. Keep I even keep tabs on how much money, it, you know, the certain things. There's a slander thing that could happen, you know, um, but it's like. What do you, other than that, what do you? Who gives a shit? You have a good time, and what am I gonna do? You know, somebody doesn't want to watch me. What are you gonna do? Who cares? I mean, you care a little bit. You go, hey, I hope everything okay. But other than that, fuck it. Bu 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 bo. You got a negative FICO score? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even have my game on. I've been sitting here fucking playing this game all right guys you gotta stop you gotta stop with the convo about that you just gotta stop i don't want that shit here i don't care about it you know what i mean let's not do that my show is not gonna be about f fucking psychos being psychos and you know being obsessed with your friend you thought was your friend that wants to still not be your friend but wants to see you fail and you know what I mean whatever the hell that is going on I don't I don't want to do that let's not do that I'm coming in the discord in a minute guys what's up uh what up John McDonald oh hey what's going on Melly jumped up on the table and took but your bubble gum? Yeah, she's done that like 9,000 times. She loves bubble gum. She's like obsessed with it. She tears. If I leave gum in my pockets, she tears a hole in my pockets to eat the gum. She's nuts. I don't know why. I'm sorry, baby. I'll get you some more bubble gum tomorrow, okay? okay. You want me to get you some more tomorrow? Yeah, I do. Hey, you did a good job shoveling the stairs. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. Come here, you want a hug? I'm sorry, baby. I am sorry. Mm. Love you. 
Love you. I'll be up in a few. I'll be up in a few, okay? Looks like you going my to bed? little lass needs a shaving. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. For some reason, $22. $22. Holy shnikes. Oh, my God. Yo, for some reason, I guess I didn't realize it that I didn't have, um... I guess I don't have a $22 donation down below or anymore. Or I never did have one, actually, so I don't even know how that came up. But, yeah, Venti Dos for no reason. For whatever reason, Venti Dos coming in. Holy crap. Oh, there's me just putting my kid on camera to, to try to get money from you guys. Haha. <laughs> right? Nobody will call that out. It's okay to say that about me, but I better not say anything back or I'm a bad guy, right? I better not put my kid on camera for a second, even though she just walked in here. Uh-oh. Or how about how about the one about how Joe doesn't take care of his kids because he streams all day or something? But it's 8 o'clock at night, and I, you know what I mean? I've only been streaming since the last couple hours. I was with my family all day long. Oh, I guess you just say things to say bad things about me. Oh, and what about the one about my kid coming on screen out of nowhere? Oh, I guess, hey, hey, fuck off now. <laughs> oh, I guess that's me being a bad dad again. I guess I'm a bad dad still. Maybe you'll come to Boston and punch my face in. Maybe you'll tell people I'm a scumbag. Who knows? Who knows what you'll do? I, m I must have been set up to have her come on here and say her bubble gum got eaten. Because I'm not a real human being, you know? You know what, Derek? I got to disagree with you, though, bro. Men don't clip shows and send them to others. The very men you listen to do that. Everybody does that. So men do do that, Derek. You've got 100% wrong. Every man you like and listen to, Derek, does that. I just want you to know that. Everybody you listen to does that, Derek. So you just called every person you listen to not a man. And you support it, which is okay. But you do. So just saying. You support that. You listen to it. And that's it. Just admit that. That's not a problem. I, I do the same thing. I've clipped stuff before, too, so... We've all done it. Everybody's done it. And there's there's nobody is a man then, if that's the case, in this in this community of people you're talking about. Nobody is a man. Basically. Yeah, yeah, Troy. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it now. She fucking ate the gum, you know? So she so she she um I always am careful about the gum because she gets into my pockets, like I said. So I store the gum in like a, a you know a place where she can't get to it now. But apparently Brenna didn't know that, you know, the dog was gonna climb up on the table and steal her gum off the table. You know, everybody has clipped stuff. Well, not you, not you, Derek. I don't think you have. So you're a man. So Derek, you're a man. That's great. You are a man, Derek. But most of us are not men. If you're saying that, that men don't clip people, well, then you're a man, but nobody else is a man. You know, you could, you tell, you try to name the person who's a man, and I'll tell you how they're not one, probably. But you're a man. So, Derek, you're a man. You are a man, Derek. But nobody else is a man. You, you know how you get that to stop is you just don't play that stuff. You don't do seven-hour streams on it. You don't clip it. You don't play it. If someone sends it to you, you don't play it. You don't talk about it. You don't nothing. Look at what I do. I almost never talk about anything. Derek, do I ever do shows like on all these? Like I don't. I never do it. Only because someone wrote things relentlessly last night 30,000 times, and I was drunk, did I even acknowledge something. And look what happened, right? I mean, I don't even know what happened, to be honest, but you guys are telling me something that happened. I don't even know. I couldn't even care, and I don't know. I was out with my family all day. I don't know. I have a family. I don't. I don't sit around hating on people all day on Twitter and whatever. Um, just you know, creating threads about how they're bad and doing fucking talking about them forever. I don't do that. I have kids and a wife, and I f I have sex with my wife. Like I don't know. 
But um, some people, man, that's their whole life is just sit around and do this stuff and manipulate and whatever. I don't know, bro. I don't know how people do it, but it's funny. It's kind of funny to me. I know that. But yeah, you're you're just you're a man, bro. But no one else is. Nobody else is. Nobody else is. If that's the case, then you're right. Oh, dude, I would get like the cl- the stuff that people would always send me every day, and I would send to them, and we'd send things. Everybody would send things. People be sending things all over the place. Oh man, nobody's a man. I barely do it now, though. I really don't. My my life is way more. I'm way more clairvoyant and clear at this point in my life, because I just I'm just relaxed. I don't care. You know, for the most part. What up, John? You mole loser. What the fuck is wrong with Paul, man? Paul is fucking off his rocker right now. I. <laughs> at least Paul defends me. I will say that. At least, at least somebody fucking defends me. You know, that's at least that's nice of Paul to finally somebody actually defends me, you know. But uh, fucking <laughs> what are you doing? Um, let's see, uh, mentally deficient, Paul, come on, man, just move on, I know it's hard, but if I can move, if I can do it, you can do it, you know, now maybe it's harder for you because you listen to everything, so Paul, you heard all these things and you heard the, so maybe you're like wound up, you're like ready to go. Paul, and trust me, Paul, you're not the only one, dude. I've got emails and messages and shit like that, like from lots of different people who are like, fuck this, like, fuck them. And like, wow, I've, they're double standard and all these things. And wow, why would they, why do they, wow, this guy really lied and all the, it's like, yeah, whatever. I don't know, whatever. Who cares? I don't care. I already know that. I already knew that. The minute someone told me something about why they got to go or why they're doing whatever, and then they don't, that's not really it and whatever. Dude, trust me. I knew right away. It's sad, but it's true. You don't have to send me stuff and tell me this, that, and the other thing. And go on Twitter and screen cap this, that. I don't care. Fuck it. What up, Matt? Um, ba, 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 ba. You know what's weird, though, Derek, is it's is like other people will, will do what Paul is doing against me over and over again, but they're not called cum guzzlers. You know what I mean? But you're calling Paul a cum guzzler, so it's weird. That is kind of weird, but... It's also weird that Paul won't get over it. Just get over it, Paul. It's good, man. Just stop. I don't want to time you out again. Derek's not even timing you out. I'm the one doing it. I'm timing you out. <laughs> like Paul, I'm timing you out, bro. Um All right. I'm just going to time out everybody. Let's just time out everybody. We'll just time out Derek and Paul. And Derek's a mod. Just stop it. Stop it, Paul. Suck my dick, says Eddie. Um, I don't even care, bro. You know what would be actually fun is if something real, if something even worse happened to me, and and you're like, oh wow, that was, huh? Maybe we shouldn't have done that to him. Maybe uh, maybe telling everybody this guy's a scumbag every day for like three years will end up getting me killed or something. Maybe somebody will come kill me or something. Maybe if you talk bad about me for nine hours a day every day and manipulate, you know, and do whatever, maybe somebody will come kill me. Maybe like they'll be like, you know what, something's got to be done, and they'll just come kill me live on my show. And uh, you'll be like, wow, maybe we shouldn't have gone so hard about manipulating people into how bad he is. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have talked about him for five hours a day every day and tweeted about everything and oh but then again nobody cares they don't people don't care if bullfrog is killed and shot up they don't care if anybody's killed and shot up they want it to happen so like you're not really gonna you know and people support it so what are you gonna do but yeah maybe maybe that'll happen that'd be the best thing you know just to see me killed or something you know like okay, I mean, where does it end? You know, when does it ever end? You le- you leave and you you know you just spend all your time hating on everything. What are you doing? I don't even. I'm being vague because I don't even know what we're really talking about. I'm just getting the gist of what people are telling me here. 
but I don't I don't really know. I'm being vague because I really don't know what you're talking about. Other than the people last night in the chat at the end of the show and the people on Twitter and some and people that do things. And I, I so many different people do things that it's it's hard to va- lump it all together in the vagueness. But the bottom line is, dude, I don't care. You can you do whatever, man. But because I, I, I feel like we're all light and I, f- I know that like there's the universe is the way it is. And at this point, like, I like to tell jokes on here, make some jokes, and I keep, you know, I just call it like it is, and that's about it. Try to call it like it is. I'm, I'm wrong. I'm, I'm definitely wrong often, but uh, I definitely won't go to the stoops of, you know, doing my best to make everybody hate somebody. That's another reason why I keep things vague. I don't want to, I don't want to be a person that makes everybody hate one person or hate somebody. I just won't do that. You know, if we're joking about somebody on the show and we're having a fun time during a bit or, you know, I say, I hope your mother falls down a stair- f- flight of stairs and gets raped by the goblins of Elnor, you know, or something, you know, that's funny and stupid. You know, if I say that, you know, I hope your, I hope your father can, you know, I hope you die before your father so he can eat your ass out or something, you know, like stuff like that is just stupid. But yeah, I'll ne- I I don't want to do that, bro. Whatever you're telling me to do and people messaging me, like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what people do or whatever. I've always been like this. When people when I when I see legitimate people that want to hurt people or that want to lie about people and manipulate them and manipulate and uh just basically like create a pack bully mentality, I don't care. You know what I mean? I'm not going to not going to get into that. Because those people have something wrong in their lives that they they have no, there's a void or something is going really wrong in their lives that they need to do that. You know what I mean? The fact that you would have to spend, as a grown man, all that time trying to take someone out or trying to fuck with people or whatever the people do. I try to have a good time and go and just be funny wherever we can go. But if you take the time to try to do that, you know, whether it's, Oh man, I just realized Gerald Armstrong's thing says is still up there. My bad. You know, I, I like I said, there's something going on mentally there. You know, when you take pleasure in like hurting people or trying to like get some kind of weird revenge or hurt on people, it's weird. You know, if you're you know, if you're saying funny shit like, you know, oh, you know, Joe Cronin's balding dumbass or whatever, that's funny. You know, you're saying like, you know, Joe's a fucking idiot. You know, he looks like he's thinks it's nineteen ninety six. You know, but when you start saying stuff like, you know, bad, you know, you're going to your kids are going to resent you when you're older. And I mean that. And, you know, you're a bad person, you're a bad dad and you, you don't know how to take care of anybody. And, you know, you, you're you rude to your you treat your fans terrible because I know that or whatever, you know, and just all these weird manipulations like that's weird. You know, that's strange. You know what I mean? Unless it was real, like it was like legit for some reason, but you know it's not. So it's just we. That's a mental projection of some kind. You know what I mean? Like weird shit that you have to go to lengths to reach to weird lengths to get create some. Like I've had people repeat stuff to me, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And then eventually they're like, "I'm like, where? Why are you saying that about me? I don't understand that. I don't even get what you're saying." And they're like, "You know what I'm talking about?" I uh, and I'm like. I don't know what you're talking about. And they're like, you listen, or you you were on, you on, heard about it. And I'm like, I don't know what you're fucking talking about. And then they tell me, and then I go, what? Why would I be like that? I never did that. I, blah, blah, blah. And then eventually they're like, oh, well, I thought that because this person says that. So someone says something over and over again, you just believe it. That's what the people do. You just say things over and over. I'm going to tell people that Jag Depans are in the chat, rapes, fucking dolphins every every day and then and then you guys are gonna call them like you're disgusting you rape dolphins that's fucking sick bro and you're like i don't rape dolphins what the fuck are you talking about yeah you don't know that person told me that you rape dolphins like and they um okay when did i rape this dolphin um well you know that you like to go to the beach a lot okay I, yeah, I, do, I mean, sometimes I do go to the beach. I don't rape dolphins, though. Who, 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 why are people saying that? Well, they told they 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 brought it up. Everyone knows you rape dolphins. Uh, where's the video of that? I don't know. It's where did I ever say that that I like that? Nowhere. 
Where's the video of that? Nowhere. How did you find out that I, I, I raped dolphins? Oh, because someone said so over and over again. Oh. Okay. So you, someone just made that up and you believed it over and over again. Like, do you think people believe that JD banged his cats? Nobody believed that because it was a goofy thing that the that people in the chat said. And then, you know, we repeated it a whole bunch. But that's a stupid thing. Nobody believed that. Nobody thinks that's true. You know what I mean? But that's why, that's why you know, you, you come up with goofy things to say, like, you know, like you spend more time with the cats than your anybody else. Like, you know what I mean? It's a, and, the, and the fans are the ones that came up with it. But, you, you know, you perpetuate it. And it's a goofy thing. But I would never say things like, you know, JD abuses his audience or the only thing that JD ever did that was like, you know, that I, I sort of called out a little bit or, but, but even so it's not even my job to call it out. It's his own per- prerogative. You know, he would just, he just seemed to block a lot of people easily. And even to this day, I get messages from people who say like, he just blocked me. I didn't even do anything. Joe, can you reach out to him? And, and it's usually like younger fans. They're like 12. And I'll say to them, like, or something, they'll hit me up and they'll be like, dude, I know that you don't really get along with JD anymore, man. But, um, you know, I, 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 I told him that I don't agree with him about this thing. And I said, why? And then, like, he blocked me. Like, can you, I don't know, I, I know you, I heard once that you have his cell phone. It's like, dude, people are hitting me up to get the guy, to, to cell phone JD. Now, somebody else in my position would block those people. You know, like CM Punk, he would block you. Like, oh, you asked for a guy's cell phone number for me? I'm blocking you, you know? I I, I would just, I just looked at it like, and then I looked, I looked at the guy's tweet, and I looked at the tweet, and I go, yeah, in the tweet, you called, you said he's he's an idiot or something. You were like, I don't agree with you because if she does this and this happens, why do you always got to be a fucking idiot about this? I'm like, you, you, you told him, why does he always got to be a fucking idiot about this? And so he blocked you. So there's always more to the story. Like, oh, well, you called him a fucking idiot. Now, if you called me a fucking idiot about said that, I might not block you. I mean, I'll just talk shit back. I'll be like, no, maybe I was like, oh, who are you calling a fucking idiot? You know what I mean? Like, and we'll see where it goes from there. Or I'll say like, yeah, I am a fucking idiot, I guess. I don't know. You know, I'm not going to block you, but that's me. But if you're clearly just trolling about something, I'll usually block if it's like trolling. But if it's like harmless trolling, like where you're just like you're ribbing me or something like that's not problem. But I don't know. He blocks people really quickly. But he also has a huge audience. So it's like, you know, for him, it's like, you know, fuck all, you know, eliminate all the bullshit. I get it. So I'm not here to police what he does, like, or to or to talk about what he does for hours, you know, or something, you know, uh, you know, whatever. I ended up fucking texting him about that guy. And I'll tell you what, he he unblocked the guy. I texted him and said, hey, this this kid hit me up. He kind of was a dick to you, but I think he's a younger fan and he feels bad. And I think he really likes you. And if you look at his tweets in the past, he was pretty cool to you, but he did have a thing. I reached out to him for no fucking reason. This was years, like over a year ago. And he was like, all right, bro, I'll I'll handle it. That's what he said. He fucking unblocked the guy. And the guy hit me up like I was fucking God. He was like, oh, thank you. Because the guy likes me, but he like, you know, he obviously really likes him. So whatever. But I think sometimes, you know, you don't realize that people... People that like you will still criticize you, and you got to deal with that. You got to be able to accept the criticism, as long as it's valid, man. But sometimes it's so far out there that you don't really believe the person's really criticizing you. You think, "Oh, you're not criticizing me. You're literally just doing this to be bad." And that's the problem. Is sometimes you can't distinguish between, "Oh, is this guy really criticizing me?" Where we could have a conversation, I could sort of change his mind about why, or I could maybe learn something about me that from him, or is this person just trying to be a prick on purpose and he don't care what I say. It's about him just shitting on me or whatever. So it's hard sometimes to figure out which one that is. Um, Cooper, Cooper cup, 14 to 17, eight minutes left. San Francisco, the Rams. Ba, 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 ba. NBA Pacers, it's it's not being a hypocrite NBA Pacers, and I'll tell you why it's not being a hypocrite NBA Pacers. The reason is because the whole point of that of making that channel was to mock the people that do do that. If you look at that channel, I don't really upload videos on that channel. I almost never upload on there. 
it's like twice a year or tw- or like five times a year or you know 10 times a year and it's all stupid stuff the whole point of it is literally to just troll and mock the people that do that that was the goal of that since the day one you know what i mean i don't really have a channel where i do that now there was a couple of times where i felt it necessary to respond to some things so i did but i mean look look at how many look at how often that is there's about five legitimate videos on that channel of three years. Three years a channel, five legitimate videos. And they're just me answering back. And most of them are legitimate. If you listen to the whole video, I'm making legitimate points and literally debunking stupid shit. So it's not really like that. It's me debunking those people, but mostly the channel is a troll job of just see how stupid you are, you know, see how goofy you are. You guys do this every day. You do it every day. You spend every day doing it. You know what I mean? I drop seven videos a year, and most of them are just retarded. You know what I'm saying? So that's the point. So it's not really being a hypocrite. The whole point of it is that. I think it's funny that people spend their time on that sort of thing. And that's the whole point of the whole thing. So I'm glad you kind of get it, but you don't. Because if I was really to do that, I would be doing a video every week or every day or something like that. But no, everybody likes a little bit of it. But there's, you know, when you get toxic or you get fucking, you get into the illegal stuff and you get into the slandery stuff and things like that, that's a little weird. But it's certainly obviously a troll job that doesn't go anywhere. Um, ba bum bum It doesn't matter, NBA. Anybody can do whatever they want. I don't police people. I don't police people. Other people can police people all they want. You can police people all you want. You can tell people where they can and can't go. I never have. The fact of the matter is I don't tell people what to do, what to listen to. I don't DM people and tell them what they can and can't listen to, and I never tell people what they can and can't listen to. People actually say that I do do that. There's no evidence of it. The only time I respond to anything about anybody is when people come to me about it. And I go, yeah, that they're kind of fucking weird. And that's kind of a weird thing to do. That's fucked. But I don't say don't watch or don't do or don't whatever. I couldn't care. I don't do that. Other people do that about me. And they work on manipulating people about me. But I don't do that. And you won't find any proof of it ever. It will always be just someone saying it or whatever the fuck. Or some kind of manipulated version of it or whatever you want to say. I don't give a fuck what you do. Uh, Years ago I did. I was like, wait a minute, why is this going on? And unless someone's talking like major shit about me and I'm like, well, wait a minute, they're pretending to be my friend and now they're not my friend? It's like yesterday with uh, Kalan. Kalan like would, would, would say he was my friend and all these things. And be like, Joe, what's up? And then he would say like, I'm a bad person, a scumbag, e begging, shitty person, whatever. And I was like, oh. You're a fake person, okay? And so I was like, all right, well, fuck you, I guess. So that's about it, though. But I'm not going to tell him what to do or how to, you know, how to talk, how to do things, how to whatever. I just go, oh, that's a person who's shitty to me. I'm going to not be friends with that person. If you shit on me and you're shitty to me and you don't care and all your whole life is, you know, you're pretending to be friends with me to my face and then shitting on me behind my back. I mean, I'm going to, I might bring it up if somebody tells me about it. I might say, hey, what's up with this? Why didn't you tell me about this to my face? Why didn't you question this to my face? Why do you just talk about me behind my back? Why, why, why would you do that? And then if that person flips out then and says, I'm a scumbag, fuck you for even questioning me. Well, okay, why are you getting mad now? Because I'm asking you about why you're talking shit about me. I don't talk shit about you. You can't tell me what I can do and go and whatever. Okay, I'm not doing that. I'm just asking you why you're talking shit about me. That's all. I thought we were friends. I thought you were a listener. I thought we were cool. What's going on? I don't care what you do. Just kind of wondering why you don't say this on my show or to my face. Kind of weird. So if I'm a bad person for sticking up for myself, then I guess kill me. If I'm a bad person for sticking up for myself, kill me. You know? Joe Buck looks like he's about to have a dildo attack. We actually heard from Tommy NC earlier, man. I hope he's okay. Um, (laughs) 
Ooh. Oh, D. Welsh, I got your dick pic, bro. Did you get mine? D. Welsh, let's exchange dick, dick pics again. Wait till that comes out. We've been exchanging dick pics forever. You know? <laughs> Kalan, yeah. Callan. Well, I don't mind that. If he got mad at me for that, I wouldn't even blame him on that. That's not a problem. If he got mad at me for pronouncing his name wrong, that's that's fine. I understand that. That's funny. You know, if he's like, fucking Joe, he can't pronounce my name, or he says my name wrong all the time. That's that doesn't bother me at all. That's that's not a pro that's not really a problem. If I in fact if somebody said to me, Oh, he's mad at you and he sent me a screenshot of the guy being mad at me for that. I would actually reach out to him and be like, and I think I did. I talked to him about that. I said, hey, man, sorry for always saying your name wrong all the time. Fuck it. I'll, you know, whatever. So that actually didn't doesn't bother me at all. That's just, that's funny. I mean, that makes sense. I'd just be like, yeah, my bad for fucking pronouncing your shit wrong all the time. You know? What up, Trey? Troy? Troy? Troy, what are you doing, man? Do you want to play uh, games in a little bit? Or come on the show for a little bit or what do you want to do hey uh, troy the discord is always lit man you should come in the discord you'd probably like some of the people in there we have a shell orgasming would anybody like to hear shell orgasm for a hundred dollars we will play shell's orgasm it's only seven seconds long but shell is given the approval to play her orgasm uh for a hundred dollars we will play shell's orgasm of seven seconds Oh, wait, I think i got to find it again. Oh, yeah, I'd have to find it again. I can find it, though. I can find it. So, <laughs> Shell, you're fucking crazy. I won't play I won't play the whole... I won't play much of the clip because it's kind of fucking crazy, but if you want to hear seven seconds of it, uh, go ahead and uh, <laughs> drop it in the chat. I'm sorry, Shell. Um, oh, he dropped the ball. Watch this. Oh, you dirty ones. Oh, there he is. He must have known. I knew. <laughs> I could smell it from here. Joygasm. He once said, uh, Rostoff, I suggested it's a, called a Joegasm. Oh, you know, I Ooh. fuck, fuck Joegasm. I can't get over uh, it, that, 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 whatever the hell someone called Tex. What was it? Textosterone. Dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got a lot of Textosterone. What's up? It's me, Textosterone. All right. You guys want to experience my testosterone? Dude, uh, next time I get some money on my credit card, I'm calling the sex line as Tex. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's having trouble uh, with his internet. He keeps bouncing in and oh, out. Oh, yeah? Hopefully he'll get something's, something's wrong with my internet. The it's I got me, brother. Demon. There's too much <laughs> testosterone on my internet. <laughs> God damn this <laughs> internet. Testosterone. We were wondering if you were going to come in here. Yeah, I was taking my sweet time. I was going on. Uh, I was answering. All the, there was a lot of questions in the chat. I was answering them all. Yeah, and a lot of. He was uh, licking his chop. That was my last. Those are my last comments on all that. I will say that. A I will of, not. A lot of heat in there. A lot of heat. That's all I'm going to say, and I have no comment on it. Yeah, I'm not. Turn the air on. That was it. That was all mm -hmm. I'll say about it. I'll go back to how I've been the last forever seven months of just I don't talk about anything people talk about nope, or send me. It doesn't exist. Who gives a fuck? Exactly. But um. Yeah. What up to everybody in the chat? Eddie Chaos mm -hmm. is in there saying uh, he's going to have a shellgasm. Mm-hmm. Is he now? No. There's some young 19-year-old uh, men that Shell wants to uh, <laughs> maybe hook up with. Of course. Oh, we of course. Yeah. Is Get in line. <laughs> Get him while he's young, ladies. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not commenting. I'm just watching football. Jesus Christ! Th these games are nuts. Like, oh, can we I get? Know. There's not. Is there been really a bad playoff game? This is crazy. Well, yes, the Packers. Oh, the Pats Francisco. game wasn't good. Actually, my game wasn't good. No, no, my game was the most embarrassing. Oh, Come on. well, for you, yeah, that's true. Eagles. Yep. I couldn't Look believe that. The bowl. Yep. <laughs> oh, you and me both. I'm still reliving that nightmare. Come on, fucking Rams. Go, D Moon. Your team's gonna. I'm cheering for them. Oh, I'll go up and tell I can't cheer for No, I can't go for San Francisco. Sorry. Well, I'm no. going gonna, I'm gonna... to... Right, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, Troy, what's going on, dude? Fucking... 
think he's muted. He still What's got that nice, beard. Brian? He's muted. Yeah. D. Welsh. D. Welsh is <laughs> What's up, D? Okay, Gar got to take over the show. Good evening, show. <laughs> hey, D. No, how you here. doing? I see you now. <laughs> How was your I'm dinner? Going back and forth because I keep going. I'm, I'm making some chicken, so I'm just like. Oh dinner. sure, yeah. Trying to. You sound like you're in the bathroom. It does rain. <laughs> I'm in my bedroom. Damn, oh. bro. You just have a bed and that's it. It's just my. It's just just my bedroom. It barely has anything on the walls yet. Oh, that's why. Yeah, it sounds hollow. It sounds like you're in the tin can. Oh, it's gonna come down to the wire here. Oh yeah. Damn. I'm watching it. I'm trying to watch it. We need a we need this a touchdown. This is gonna be a tough. Is he gonna come down to another is... field goal? I oh, God, I hope not. But you know, they need a touchdown. As, as long as as the Rams get it, I'm happy. They need yeah, a did touchdown. You watch, yeah. Did you watch the other game, D? Dude, Derek? that Cincinnati game was fucking wild. Wasn't it? That I was so was happy. Wild. Yeah, I was that happy. Was I I picked, I picked the, uh, uh, kitty cats, the Bengals. <laughs> I kitty picked Bengals in the Rams. Yeah, the kitty cats. Dude, Evan, ooh, ooh. Their kicker, Evan McPherson, mm -hmm. get paid, dude. Yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. I don't I don't like the smugness of the kicker uh -oh. for San Cooper Francisco. Cup. Cooper Cup! Isn't he awesome? He Don't you think he should be MVP? I think so. He should have been. Well, hmm. Absolutely. My mom's downstairs. She's 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 watching this game. She's screaming, and my, my stream up here is behind, so I know something good happened. So <laughs> she's like, I know if it's good or bad whether I should watch. So, so Cooper, did he catch something? Because I'm way behind. What the fuck? I don't know. Really so all the way to the ten yard line. Oh fuck yeah! Then let's go. I love Cooper Cup. He's hey, really good. Hey chat roll. Hey chat roll. Do me a favor. If you really like this video, if you really like Joe, if you really like to appreciate Joe, hit the like button and stick the thumb up. Uh, well, you know where to stick it up. Up his ass. He likes it. Mm. Up mm. his dick hole. Oh, so right. any, uh, let me ask, speaking of dick holes, <laughs> any of you guys had a yeah. catheter put in your dick hole? Hmm? Oh, that's no. I'm not. Nope. Willingly? How about you, Gargets? Nope. Oh, he's running. <laughs> oh, you scared the shit out of me. Did he answer? Nah, Did you answer, nah, Gargets? Never. You never nah, had a never catheter? Had not while you were in the hospital? No. Nah, I said hell no. Nah. You cut a hole in my fucking stomach, and I have to if I have to get there. I had a catheter. Well, not in my Too dick hole, but it goes in your your urethra. Um, your vulva. I, when I had surgery years ago, that's that. It only hurts when they take it out. It burns. But I'm just wondering. <laughs> oh, if are you are you reading that. what Joe is saying in the chat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Pico, you've had it in your dick hole. And how did it feel? I'm just curious. Oh, I, I don't Christ. have a dick, so I don't know what that feel like. So I was just curious. At just... least you feel breezes. Probably feels like a... <laughs> it's one of those... Remember when our... Do you guys remember Arsenio Hall? You know, things that make you go, hmm? Yeah. yeah. So that's, it's one of those things that make me go, hmm? <laughs> oh, I, I, man. I, don't, I don't know about that. The fucking the catheter, catheter, I don't want anything in my peel. Mm -hmm. the, the, well it's funny you know if you go into if you go like if you're in an ambulance an accident or what the fuck ever but you end up in the hospital that's one of the first things they fucking do to you especially with a guy they want to shove a catheter up your dick hole they're like, they're like oh. you gotta you gotta you gotta you got a broken ankle now we need you to take down your pants well especially if it's bad enough where you're gonna have surgery yep they don't want you pissing all over the place so like, oh what? he peed on pico peed on the nurse when she removed it so wow. I just came in for a black eye. This, yeah, I came in for a black eye. Got a prostate exam and a catheter at my dick hole. <laughs> nice. No thanks. Get a cavity oh, surgery. Oh, dude, golden well. shower, really? Oh, God. Who got a golden shower? Oh, no, oh yeah. What, what yeah. Pico did was technically a golden oh, the shower. Nurse. Yeah, the nurse got it. Yeah. Warm and yummy. No, no thanks. I'm not into piss or shit play. Thank you. Boy, this oh, is getting no. interesting. <laughs> what about a catheter? Uh, and it was, you know, they have it for gamers, and it's like, are it just turns to different colors? Oh, so you can be Ooh. streaming RGB with a cat. Yeah, you have like the uh, RGB catheter. Yeah. Oh my They're god! The best <laughs> one on the block. Donnie Knoxville actually has to have one every day. 
I really? think for the rest of because that's the only way he could. Yeah, because I allegedly heard that on a Howard Stern um, interview that he did years ago. Because oh. apparently, because he did so much damage to his body, that just like you know, he has to go through that every day. Oh, not anymore. But he had it for three years. Yeah. Wow. Hey, yeah. Troy. <laughs> Are you What's gonna happening? play uh, Halo? I'm I'm usually playing Halo. Question is, is Joe gonna play Halo instead yeah. of stupid ass fucking Madden Whoa. year after year? <laughs> if you do a headshot, if you do a headshot on Joe, like in a, in a in a one-on-one, dude, I'll pop because <laughs> he'll just get he'll just get angry. Like I had, I had. You know? No, he wouldn't get would angry because play... he knows I'd kick his ass, especially yeah. since I've been playing a lot more lately. You guys should play PUBG because I miss when you drive, Troy. Come on. Oh, I texted him the oh, other geez. day. I did. I did download it. I yeah? did download it on the new Xbox. Finally, good. I can't wait for that. That's nothing like when you guys would stream that. I fucking loved it. Troy, you're the best driver ever. Don't let anybody tell you different. <laughs> My actually, I, I sent somebody the clip the other day of the aggro crag, the one where I had to climb the mountain. Uh -huh. that game the desert map. I sent somebody that the other day because I made reference to it. I love it. That's, That's probably awesome. my favorite memory. Crack. Either that one or the one when I was driving and everybody was in the Jeep and the yes. building hadn't loaded in yet for me. Into the building but it loaded in, in for everybody else. Yes. Yeah. So I was like, no, we're fine. We're fine. And then it fell through the floor after yes. I hit somebody. It fell in that hole. And then everybody jumped out because they thought they were going to die. And then the Jeep exploded and killed everybody that jumped out. But it was fine. And I got teleported back to safety. That's yeah, that was awesome. a good one. It was good. <laughs> Mr. Like, Pico Boulevard like, words like, Luis is playing homo, not Halo. <laughs> Luis is busy with his penis pumps. Or maybe he's still like talking 90 about his of the <laughs> Like 90% of the fun of that game was just from the glitches and how fucking yes. bad it was. Yeah, it was really bad. But it was, yeah, it was so fun. I loved every. I miss you guys playing that. Mm -hmm. Come on, Joe. How long does it take you to pee? Oh, I'm still in commercial. See, I'm way behind. What the fuck? You can just how watch much time is stream. left? <sighs> how much time is left on a clock? We got about like uh, I think like five four minutes. Oh lord. They're showing a replay right now. Minute and forty six. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oops. So how's your new apartment? Minute forty-nine, to be exact. Mm. It's nice. How's, yeah. Good. Yeah. So what are you gonna do all week before you? Oh yeah, you're right. You off. Chill. Jerk off. Uh, mm -hmm. Get the driving. Get the driving route down. Mm hmm. <laughs> Jerk off. Is that you, and Troy? Get some stuff hung on my wall. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't me. Mm hmm. <laughs> no, Joe's taking a shit. Is he? Rams. Rams now have the, Stop the clock. Uh, what the hell is wrong with this fucking 146 screen? to go. Rams up by three. Uh, they're going for a field. They're yeah. going for a field goal. All right. Hey, I'm only one minute 49. Is, so up and good. is it? Well, see, you spoiled it for me, D. Welsh. Just kidding. <laughs> he hasn't even kicked it yet. He hasn't even lined up yet. See? Well, that's good. I'm surprised my mom wasn't screaming. She lets me know what happens. Okay. There you I got go. a question for y'all. I, I always feel like I'm the weirdo. Like, I'm the, the odd guy out. Am I the only person that doesn't give a shit about football games or other sports, actually? Yeah. Unless their team is playing. Like, I, I'll watch the yeah. Patriots are you on. Know, actually, text but that's that. It. I, don't get, I could not care less about anything else. Mm hmm. No, text Maybe actually... I'll watch the Super Bowl if friends yeah. are watching it and maybe for the commercials. Yeah. Uh huh. Don't care about the game. Um, as far as hockey goes, I only watch my Jets. I don't care about anything else. Um, NFL, yeah. I'll watch. Yeah. Like, I mean, this game doesn't mean I mean, my my Packers got embarrassed and got kicked out, but I'll watch it. Um, as long as now that Tom Brady's out, <laughs> sorry. Um, but I'm like that. I'm a snob. I call it a, ho a hockey snob. Like, I only watch my team. So, but I don't think you're a weirdo. It's just what you prefer. I don't blame you. For me, it's just not a snob thing. It's just like football itself is boring. I always go back to somebody did the study on it once. It's an average of, mm -hmm. what, 11 minutes, I think, per game of actual action. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'll, I'll, I'll take yeah, 60 very... on ice and 82 games. Thank well, you. let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Are, are you are you more of an NFL guy or an NCAA guy? You, you mean specifically for football or like just pro sports in general? Yeah. I mean, I guess the answer is the same. It's yeah, no, no, no. But... Football. Football. 
Oh, oh, God, no, I NCAA. don't understand. Any, I think anybody that is really into NCAA football and can tell you anything about any player on any team is a fucking psychopath. <laughs> so no, I am not into college football in the slightest, except yeah. for my alma mater, which is one of the crappiest teams possible. And they just keep fucking up year after year for the past 10 years, which is UMass, in case anyone doesn't know. Oh, Was ever it, since they tried to move well, up oh, to UMass? the fucking Division One. It all went downhill from there. Well, I mean, per- personally, I'm more of an NCAA guy. So, I mean, I get it to a sense with the NFL, but I, I, I care about the game of football more so than just the spectacle and the glitz and the glamour mm-hmm. and the money. I care about the game. Um, like, for example, like one of my favorite teams. I mean, again, I love, I love what Alabama has been able to do over the past couple of years. Uh, always love Seton Hall, uh, my Rutgers teams because I'm from Jersey. And I really, you know, love Notre Dame, always have. Uh, so, like, I, I, there's a lot of teams that I like. But, again, like I said, I care about the game. And uh, that, to me, has always stuck with me. So that's why I've always enjoyed the sport. I guess I can understand that I a little more. But, see, that's something I haven't heard too often either as somebody that's into, like, a few teams. Normally it's everybody's Ooh. either, like, Ooh. fully into it or not. Uh-oh. But, boy, exactly, Uh-oh. they're like that. Uh-oh. What the hell? Clock's <laughs> going. <laughs> Pitta. Really? Did they all? Oh, like, you have to watch this. Come on. Good. 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 I'm sorry. I can't cheer for 49ers. Sorry, Jimmy G, you little bitch. And the Rams will have a home game <laughs> for the Super Bowl. God, I haven't even seen them pick it off yet. I'm a play behind still. God, this Canadian shit. I'm telling you. See, Troy, like, as far as like um, college ball up here, like Canada, it's. I mean, okay, we have uh, we have two main universities in Winnipeg. It's the University of Manitoba and University of Winnipeg, and it's small. Manitoba, they have the Manitoba Bisons. I mean, I never go to the games. I don't follow them. So I, I don't think as much, at, like, out west in Canada, um, college ball is very big. And, I mean, I don't know nothing about any um, college ball in the States. So, I mean, I watch NFL and I watch our CFL. You guys should check out our CFL. It's not boring. So it's fun. I want to, actually. I want Look to it up on YouTube. Them. Look up Winnipeg. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I actually performed oh. at the halftime oh, game for the oh. uh, Montreal Alouettes oh, it's championship. Over. It's over. First Conference really? championship yes. game. Yeah. First oh, game. that's fucking yeah. awesome, Troy. That's awesome. Uh, two, it was either it. 2006 or 2007. Yeah, with the, the conference championship game. It was the Alouettes huh. and uh, yeah. Stampede, I think they were playing. Yeah, Stampeders. Yeah, Calgary. That's awesome. I still have I uh, I still have my Alouettes hoodie. Cost yeah, me like cool. eighty five bucks Canadian, huh. Huh. but uh, it, it's it's lasted, made pretty mm-hmm. well. That's pretty cool. I love it. Yes, oh, Pico, no. the CFL is still in business over a hundred years. I told you I'm the where. <laughs> he, well, he Rams just won. Me. Yes, I know. Do you remember Hi. back in the day when we wore leather helmets? Oh God! Did we get brain damage <laughs> easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we didn't have to have a what do you like better? conversation with. Hang on. Go ahead. Troy? I was going to let D finish this thought. If it was a thought or just a rambling, either way. <laughs> Rostoff, anything you want to say? I can't believe the Rams are going to have a... can't believe the Rams are going to have a home game for the Super yep. Bowl. Well, I can't say anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, Troy. <laughs> no, honestly, this is actually a good game. Yep. Uh, Shell, I was going to ask if you yep. like uh, TFL or NFL better. <sighs> Well, they're just, there's, it depends. I think, I think um, if I like the running game more, like I love, um, I don't know if you guys know A.G. Dillon on the Packers. We call him Quadzilla because he's got massive quads and he's a beast. He's like a truck. Um, the CFL is more of a passing game because you only get three downs instead of four. So it's, it's very fast paced. You even got to throw. He can't run too much. It depends on my I mood. I, I like no them both. Yeah, wider field, longer field, and see, okay, our is 55 yards, plus our end zones are 20 yards each, so it's like, what, 150, I can't add, but, um, and the uh, end zone, or the uh, field goals are in the front, where your guys is in the back. I like both games. If I had to choose, it would be hard to choose, because I've been going to football games since I was like 10 years old, so... I don't know. Now, I'd imagine the field goal post being there are fun. It's like the danger. It's like watching the Olympics. How often mm-hmm. does somebody actually fucking just full on run into oh, one? Oh, I've seen it live at a game and it's fucking fantastic. Just fucking <laughs> run head first, bang right into it. Yep. Probably not the pros, right? But the, at okay. least college, yeah. I'm guessing. Yes, exactly. And they're never the same since. <laughs> wow, I picked it right. I said Bengals and Rams. Fuck yes. 
Love it. I'm going to bet on the Super Bowl. Who do I want to win the Super Bowl now? I'd like to see Cincinnati. 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 I'm going to have to go for the kitties. Obviously. What was the, the stat I heard? Oh, they're they downing the ball. Played. Okay. They hadn't even been to the AFC championship since 88. Have they ever yeah. been to the Super Bowl? Yes. Once, I right? They, yeah, they won one it. in the 90s or, or 80s it? or something, I think right? 88, I think it was. Early or something, something like that. Yeah, it's been a while. I don't. They've never won, though, right, D. Welsh? They've just been in it. They, they lost in 82 to the 49ers. Oh, oh okay. Well, that should be interesting. All right, guys. Than... So here it is. Super huh. Bowl. We got hmm. literally, literally the Rams taking on. Drum roll, please. Da, 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 Kansas City. No. No. Cincinnati no? Bengals. I thought it was Kansas City. Oh, no. Hell no. The, the kitties won. <laughs> Dude. I've been under, living under a rock. I'm so sorry. I got those two teams confused. We, that's okay. <laughs> we were literally right talking chat, about it 39 seconds ago. <laughs> He's not no, listening dude, higher than I am. I'm off. Oh, bro, because I'm literally writing down uh, info for tomorrow for what I got to do. So I'm like in and out of the combo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that cable Dude, this no, and, and also, mind you, my cable box is broken, so I have to like get that fixed. So uh, that's oh, why again, I'm like, you know, this is yeah. why I don't trust the internet with information. <laughs> <laughs> True enough. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. man. Because, dude, since my Giants has not been in the playoffs for a while, I've just been like detached from the mm -hmm. season. I only watch like the playoffs and the uh, and the uh, Super Bowl. Yeah, you know what sucks here in Canada when it's Super Bowl time? What's one of the best things about Super Bowl when you watch it? Commercials, commercials, right? Right. Guess what? In Canada, we get censored. I have never seen an American commercial live on Super Bowl Day. But now I have streams and I'll watch it. So. What? Yeah, yeah it, they could, censor us. Yep, they do. You could get like um, a, a VPN and then watch it <laughs> oh, yeah, don't, or wherever. Don't worry. I'm prepared this year. Yes, for sure. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I know you get all stupid Canadian commercials and they, they suck ass whiny bitches. So what everything is so Daniels. censored. I hate it. Everything is so censored in this world. Yo, now the chat now now the chat's eating me alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You're gonna Yo, be yeah. He's like, what are you smoking? Dude, <laughs> my cable is so screwed up right now. It's not even funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude, what the oh, fuck? After man. after the Rams just won, Pat McAfee now has eleven hundred dollars for the day. Is it okay if I go in and end my stream? I don't know if you guys care about the post game stuff. How was your sandwich? Uh, go ahead, end it. I I'm fine with it. It's up to the other guys. Dead air. Let's go, people. No. <laughs> yeah, I guess everyone died at once. Yeah. No kidding. Hey, everybody's like, Ugh. okay. Hi, Andrew. In the chat. All right. So what what should we talk about now? I'm surprised Joe just doesn't uh, have like a piss jug right by him. Let's talk about he Joe did. while he's away. <laughs> no, <laughs> he can't do that anymore since he kicked one over. Yeah, didn't he accidentally drink one too one time? Drink something? Yeah. I yeah. think he said. Oh, I think he said dude. one time Leah found it and she wasn't happy. Yeah, so. she wasn't pleased with that. Absolutely. Yo, I I remember one time Joe got really really drunk one uh live stream i think it was during the time when bailey brought in the deer for the first time uh, i think that was episode 59 of bonus yes was not yes yes um, mm -hmm. and and he was so wasted he went until about like five six o'clock in the morning it was so bad i know he uh, was wasted i remember one time jesse was in in that live stream at one point he's like wait a minute i hear something he's like do you like to climb trees and, and just randomly the deer pops in look at my face <laughs> Dear fucker. <laughs> Dear fucker, do you need assistance? Uh -huh, thanks, Jag. I'm glad I don't have to say I'm, I am a girl. The, 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 that is like the second person in two days that is asked, know. is Shell trans? Is Shell trans? I'm yeah. like, no, listen it's to me. because I have a and deep then, voice, people. I'm sorry. I don't understand it. I'm a bitch. I'm a girl. What, you don't like okay? alto voices? You know, they just think I'm a tranny, but there's nothing wrong with that. But I've had nothing added on or cut off. How's that? Nothing added or subtracted. Right. There you go. 
I just like sports and wrestling. I know I should have probably been a born a guy, but I'm fine being a girl that likes sports. How much? How much you want to bet? If you really committed enough, you could have a great metal voice. Could be. You know, I can change my voice. <laughs> could you imagine me screaming? Oh, that'd be... uh, yeah, I'd like to hear you scream. Chill. Show, show, show. <laughs> Sorry, um, my so my so the kids the kids are playing a game together and they couldn't get into the same game, so oh, okay. I couldn't reset the server and I had to do all this. Cr- I do had to do some crazy shit, but then so I said, "Daddy's fucking working, kids. Figure it out." <laughs> <laughs> they never would have figured this out. Of you. Put your heads together. It's not well, that hard. And Leah, Leah, read the instructions. Leah looked like distressed, and then, but she was reading a book, and she goes, "I don't know what to do." Uh-huh. But she, Leah's reading her book right now, mm-hmm. and it's got like you fell for that shit. Well, <laughs> I fell for I fell for a I lot of shit. Try. I miss Troy. <laughs> Yo, Troy, show your face, bro. Weep. Well, show your face. Show your book face. Was upside down. How weird are you? Like I want to see your face. So, so is your face. You want to see my face? You want to see my face? You don't want to see my face? My own Clayton Bigsby. That's all I think about when you say, "Let me see your face." You want to see my face? I took my braids out today, by the way. Oh. Very nice. Oh my god! There was a name in the chat that killed me earlier. What was it? Oh my god! Somebody trolling, but. Mhm. Yeah, I know. I got rid of it. Uh-huh. Oh, but you got to give it to him. It was called yeah. uh, Rastafa. N word mm-hmm. with white man's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her stop his face right now. Oh. It was Rastafa. Okay. I'm so, I was up. So I'm in, I'm upstairs and I'm telling Leah, I'm telling Leah that I'm gonna help the kids, or whatever. And she's reading a book right now. She's reading a series. And in the series, mm-hmm. there's some sex parts in the book. And she's mm-hmm. like, "Let me read you some of this." And I'm like, "You want to read me this?" I'm like, wait till later, we'll have some wine and you can read it to me. And she goes, no, no, I want to read it to you. I'm like, you really want to read me that? You're so weird about whatever and you want you want to read me that? And um, <laughs> and she's like, yeah, she's like, yeah, I'll read it to you. I'm like, all right, well, I'll tell you what. I was like, you can't read that to me because if you do, I'll start like thinking about like stuff and then I'll, I'll annoy the hell out of you. So I said, listen, um, you read that to me later. When Do it, that later because I'm doing a show making money right now. I got friends I got to get back to in a hurry. I just yeah. left them alone for 25 minutes. God <laughs> knows if people are still watching. Yo, exactly. honey, this is our livelihood. I got to save the house. I got to get down there and really I hustle. I don't have house. time for this. Right. It, it's been half an hour, honey. I really got to go. I love you. I got to go. Help the kids, by the way. Yeah. Well, so that's what I said. They were up screaming, and she doesn't know how to do it, so I fixed it. But I, I, as I was oh, telling, I was Sorry, as I was as I was telling, I wish I, I wish that it turned into love making, but it didn't. But no, I, I so as as I'm telling her about this, I was looking at the chat just to see how things are going in the first few minutes, and that's the first thing I saw was Rastafa, N word with white man's yes. voice, <laughs> and then Shell said something about a pee hole, and Leah was like, "You, you, you better clip that." But I was like, I, "Oh God." <laughs> So I'm I'm going back care. right now to find the pee hole clip. Sure. Mm-hmm. And we're talking about somebody said somebody, said somebody said uh they said or most of us said stick that stick that thumb, you know where to stick and I go in his oh, dick hole. How is that? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh man, my, my fucking fingers and my whole arm is itchy right now. The cat fucking Ooh. I was playing with the cat and the cat scratched me a little bit while playing with me mm-hmm. and I'm so itchy right now. Everything is itchy. Are you allergic me. to cats or what? Yeah, a little allergic, yeah. yeah. You were fiddling about with the cat? <laughs> yeah, I, when I was talking to her, but now I'm itchy everywhere. It's crazy. It's like I got poison ivy. You just take some allergy meds or something, Claritin or whatever Jesus. the fuck it is. Mm-hmm. It's bad. My whole arm is red. How many cats do you have now? Two. Gavin has Two? his and, and Leah Leah's. has hers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're how the, cute. How can you be allergic to cats when you're such a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice war wounds. At <laughs> least you said that. But I didn't. Well, that's why. I wanted to say it, but I held back. What are you, Paul figured- Three? <laughs> Paul Free is feisty tonight. He's savage against me when he's on the show. I like it. Yeah, I like him. He's cool. You better hold me up. Too many people <laughs> blow me. It's fucking never gonna go well. That's why I'm with Leah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Calls me. How eight. long he's had that name? I can't believe only Paul One and Paul Two were taken. That's true. And what does it mean? Like the three? I think it means something he once said, but I don't. I don't know if I remember it now. I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. Something. 
And so I was watching the game on my uh, phone as well. And I was like, oh, man, I couldn't believe it because I thought the 49ers oh, screw them. were going to do it. And uh, congrats, D-Moon. At least your team's going doing well. Yeah, congrats, mm-hmm. D-Moon, wherever you are, you fucking. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, <laughs> no, I, I, um, I didn't see D-Moon upstairs, actually, either. I went to say something, no. but he's not up there. But um, oh, call D-Moon, uh, call D-Moon something, and I'll clip it. Go ahead. Uh, no, I'm not calling him the B word. No, call him, well, whatever. Okay. Just call him something. Call him a mongoloid fuck. I don't know. <laughs> Leah was, no, you like greasy D-Moon. ass freaking goon. Leah was like, go. Leah was like, if you have Shell calling him anything, give it to me. I'll, I want to send it to him. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll drink and then it'll come out. <laughs> yeah. Just like how D Moon gets when he drinks, remember? Yeah, yeah. When D drinks, oh, yeah. yeah, he becomes a racist. Um, yeah. But awesome. uh, <laughs> there's somebody, some other people that do that too. They call Heist oh, Man yeah. something. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how soon we forget, right? <laughs> no, but yeah, Moon. Oh, you should come in here and, and see what you have to say. Short. We always call Heist Man short. He hates yeah. it. <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, D Moon's wild. He's uh he's a wild guy. He sent me yeah, one message yeah. one time. I played it on the air and I, I it started to play on the air and I had to like quickly pull it away from the microphone. Oh, I was like, What yeah. are you doing? Like what the hell is this thing you sent me? He goes, I don't care. Play it on the fucking air. Play it on the air so all the fucking blues hear it. I hope they all hear it and die. And then he, <laughs> he fucking like oh I love my it god, he what do you drink? <laughs> oh my god yeah in case yeah. anyone's wondering it was investment bankers that mm-hmm. was, yeah. yeah yeah he said mm-hmm. investment bankers mm-hmm. so he's, are you gonna go for in a super bowl joe well he's okay to say that because he's hispanic what who are you gonna pick for the super bowl who are you picking to win i gotta go Bengals. the Bengals just beat yep. the bills and the fucking chiefs like the chiefs yep. and the bills didn't uh, yeah I, I don't know i guess i gotta go Bengals. i'm going Bengals too mm-hmm. and, you know, but I, I won't be pass. upset. I won't be upset if Ellie did win because I like to see Stafford do well. I mean, he was stuck in fucking Detroit for how long? Yeah, these teams are all actually they're likable teams. Both teams are likable. Yep. So. That's why I say it. That's the best for me. That's who I picked. Um, TSS tagged me in a and uh, who am I gonna pick? And I picked Bengals and Rams. So there you go. I, well, I lost uh, ten bucks today. How about that? Oh, that's fuck bad. me. No more tampons for Leah then, right? Well, no, we got plenty of tampons yeah. last night on the show. Thank you guys for donating tampons to my wife. She That's now so has, sad. she now is, her blood will be caught because of your generosity and donations yesterday. Yeah, I'm my, very curious I'm something about Leah. I wish she would come on here. I'd love to ask her if she's ever tried one of those um, period cups. They're made of silicone. You fold it and you shove it up there and it catches the blood. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you fucking act? Like, I, I almost wish she could hear you right now because. I, I mean, I got to think. Of what, I'll find out what it's called. I can't remember what the fuck it's called. I'll go to Amazon because I'm sure they have it for sale. It looks pretty gross. I've never tried one. I think it's supposed to, you're supposed to last all day and you just, instead of shoving tampons up there all the time. I think it's the right period cup. Let's see. Oh, God. There we go. Hey. Yes, there I think it's a mention. great idea. It is. It's, it's a great I mean, idea. You always just have a, a backup weapon in case you get attacked. You just pull that out and yeah, I throw the blood out. in somebody's face. Nobody's <laughs> gonna fuck with you after that. Throw acid on. Oh my god! Here, Joe. Look. At, yeah, go to Amazon and just type in "period cup" and oh. you'll see it looks like a dick, a, a head of a dick. It does. Look at. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andrew. That's what it looks like. <laughs> oh my god, Leah just wrote back. She wrote, What the fuck? <laughs> exactly, Leah. You should look at it. It's it's I don't know if I would try one. It's weird looking. Why would Leah use it? That's just a defective cup? funnel. <laughs> Basically, Shell, isn't that what? Isn't that what they give the uh the Canadian football league champion, the period cup? I uh, know, dear. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> that's what it looks like it just looks like the head of a dick with a like a nipple on the end that's weird <laughs> i'm just curious if leah would ever try one i wouldn't i think it's weird no she clearly oh, hasn't so you're, uh, yeah you're right slang for it here is the cronin <laughs> oh. i don't know how to feel right now uncomfortable i hope because i like making people uncomfortable period cup this seems period like cup. unsanitary or something or like it doesn't they're silicone, so it's it's instead of you know, of course, 
it's probably SJW that, that invented it, or some stupid man that wants. I think it. everyone anyway, in the chat. I think everyone in the I'm chat is taking a, a day or two off from work just because they're sick right now. Yeah. It's nope. Just... Nope. Shall, shall I guarantee you that was not invented by a man? Okay. All right. Can't <laughs> <answer that. laughs> There Look he goes. See, Joe's got it. That's what the exactly. Christ, it. are we looking? You at? fold oh, it. You God. you pinch it. You fold it in half, and you shove it up, and it catches all the blood, and you rinse it out at the end of the day, and your fingers get all bloody and fun, fun. Aren't you glad you're a boy? Yes, I am pretty oh, glad. God. Yeah. I would be throwing up mm -hmm. on myself if I had to deal with this. Like, on, honest to God, I've seen a funnel. Like, see this what, looks what like guys a funnel. Go through? What goes? What guys go through? We're we're like basic cable. This is like the premier holy shit package. Like this is yeah, insane. This is, I, I've seen a, I've seen a funnel that, that they make for girls so they can pee standing up. Yes, I've seen that oh, too. Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. God. Yeah, because you try and if you don't hold your pants right, if you're squatting to pee somewhere, you just piss all over your pants. I mean, it's, it's terrible. Like I'm looking I'm looking at Joe's face right now, uh, like in the playback, and he's just like, okay. Yeah. I we're gonna we're gonna do this, I guess. I just thought you had broaden your horizons and see what kind of new exciting products are out there. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. Well, I, I uh yeah, yeah, it's very I've never it, this well, one this one looks like a fucking plunger. Yeah, well that's the one this one here is called the Pixie Cup. It's yellow. Wow, is this Man. supposed to like Mary Sunshine shove it up your twat? I, mean, I want that on. I want the reverse side of that in my ass. <laughs> well, that's it can be range, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ew. Hit yeah, up it looks weird, doesn't it? You see what I mean? I'm telling mm -hmm. you, weird Hit shit. Just, and I just ate. Oh god. Yeah, I just oh, ordered food too. Yeah. Oh. We got a new subscriber. Yeah. Oh. Freak out. <laughs> Mexman Wrestling. Thank you, Mexman Wrestling, for subscribing to the channel. What's going on? Good to hear from mm -hmm. you. Um, yeah, my mother called me too. Well, so while this was going on, so we had the kids gaming thing. We had Leah tell me about her dirty book. I was laughing at you saying pee hole or something. And then <laughs> yep. um, and then also my mother called and was like, hey, what's going on? And then she's like, I was going to come over, but I'm not going to come over now. And she's like, I wanted to come over and I was going to make you some. I was going to bring the food I made for you. And I'm like, oh, man, I was looking Whoa. forward to that. She goes, well, why don't you just order something? And she goes, and I'm like, no, no, that's all right. We'll figure it out. The kids already ate and we'll, you know, it's not a big deal. I'll just eat some, you know, there's plenty of stuff to eat. I'll just come up with something. And she's like, no, go order something like for you, for you guys. Go order it right now. Like, uh, go order DoorDash or whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay. So oh. then I'm not going to, like, I'll eat twice is all you had to tell me. So I'm like, all right, I'm hungry. That sounds good, Mom. And so, um, I, so yeah, so I ordered some uh, food from there. So that I was also <laughs> doing that. And that was a fucking mind fuck because of the app. I couldn't find a fucking sandwich, god damn it. Like, the, like, you know, it's so easy to order normally, but it's like, where's the fucking junior bacon cheeseburgers? I can't find them. So, I found it. Good. Giant Thank you, Mom Cronin. Thanks, Mom. Thank you, Mrs. Cronin. Johnny Fever died. What are these sex bots in here? Jesus There's a lot Christ. of them, yeah. Go jerk off or something. Play Pro with your probably people. Derek Hans signed us up for this. He's the fucking mole yeah. piece of shit. No, no, what's up, Derek? He's poor guy. <laughs> Derek. I'm just going after <laughs> him because said. of Paul. <laughs> Do you see who died? Who? Oh, the, the, the jump Johnny off. Johnny Fever. Wait, what? The Johnny Fever, the DJ from WKRP. Oh yeah, yeah. If it's not I Vince, remember. then I don't care. I don't. I don't Nobody remembers. Oh my him. God, the guy was, from the guy from that sh the TV show. Yep. Yeah, he was the captain in Police Academy too. Yeah, he was the captain. That's right. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. He, oh, shit. He was also on that other TV show. What was the one that with the school? Or Head whatever? of the class. Head of the class. Yeah. yeah. The class. Oh my God, what the hell? Wow. Mm -hmm. How old was he? 80 probably. 81. Oh, wow. Dead on. Yeah. Dead Did he on jump day. too? Did he jump too? <laughs> oh. Where's he pushed? Oh, no, you know what? I got to tell you something. He kind of looked a bit rough when he was younger with that mustache and shit. He looked kind of like all... I mean, he looked like a car salesman. But in his older age here in this picture, he actually... Not that I'm a girl looking for an old guy to bang, but he, he aged yeah, well. Sure. He's pretty bad. Did he not age well? He aged well. Yeah. If that's really him right there. Oh, maybe maybe not as well. Well, look at this. Yeah. It's Paul. I had a good career. Oh until, my yes. Until my wife he raped has one me. Of my favorite scene in the movie ever. 
Really? What's that? In Police Academy 2. What's the scene, though? Because I can't remember. I mean, I've seen it a lot, but... He's, he's sitting at the sushi bar with his... His <laughs> brother is the dumb sergeant, lieutenant, whatever, the one that's really stupid. Uh-huh. The goldfish. And uh, he's sitting at the sushi bar, and the, the Benny Hanna guy, he's flipping the shrimp around, and he hits him in right in the forehead with a shrimp. And he goes, you stupid bastard. But it, it's like the way he says it, the timing <laughs> of it. It's oh, just, my God. It's, it's stunningly funny. And I uh, just... Found something for Joe. WKRP. And by the way, WKRP, he was using the Sure SMB, SM7B, the microphone like everybody uses. <laughs> there it is. Look at him. Look at him gently putting his hands over that microphone like a penis. Look at how he really handles that mic well. Tony Katane was in the, the new version. She died too. Oh, well, she deserved it for being in that version. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Stupid bitch. No, that sucks. <laughs> Look at that mic. <laughs> no, this You're such a crazy fucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what's you up, Callum? Cool? Oh, God, I found your new Halloween costume. I'm gonna. Oh yeah, it. what's it? A guy with a dick in his ass? Oh, like... oh no! Oh, wait. <laughs> I have to open Messenger. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't you? Is it just me or do you not just open Amazon and type in weird? Type in penis and see what comes up. Yeah. Telling you. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, I'm dying. <laughs> Amazon penis. Yeah. <laughs> penis. See what comes up. I'm telling you. Dude on the private tab. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. That's true. My, the, the, the Alexa upstairs will like report it. My kids will be like, oh, Alexa, um, play this song. And she'll be like, did you say, look up your recent history? And then like, no, okay, penis pump. <laughs> like, oh, what? That's inappropriate. I've actually heard stuff like that happen. Not like, quite like that, but, you know, something weird like that. And <laughs> Breno just stands there and goes, that's inappropriate. <laughs> that's a friend goes, that's inappropriate. What I just sent you is inappropriate. <laughs> Natural vivid cream oh, men Lord. penis enhancement. You can't show this on the screen though. <laughs> okay. No. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Let me check the <laughs> Facebook. Um Oh my god. Look at their socks that say I love cock. Man, Facebook does not want to open right now. It's spinning. Mm -hmm. That's oh so my weird. God. Oh is God. it the bottle opener? Is it going to be the bottle opener? No. Did this you see the bottle weird. opener? It's a dick. It's like a. Is it's, it? it's a very. It's a very pink penis. Like the pinkest dick you've ever you seen. Go. With like. Now you know what to get me for Christmas. It's got <laughs> redness below the shroom tip, and then it's all <laughs> veiny for some reason the everywhere. Shroom tip. The shroom tip. And then and then there's the fucking God. then there's the bottle opener part that comes out of it. I mean, dude, that just doesn't look right. Like that doesn't look What's like that? nobody's what type of nomenclature. What type of nomenclature is shroom? <laughs> the shroom part, like what? Well, mushroom tip. I just, uh, I just cut mushroom it down tip? to shroom tip. Mm hmm. Well, there's what? an inflatable dick costume. You could wear that. That's not bad. I'd love to run around. Uh, with that dinosaur thing, that's always cracked me up, and I've yes, never. That is funny. I think everybody who's seen that has secretly wanted to have one at some point. If, oh, if you would do that and record it, I that would be amazing. Oh shit, you're right. I got to go out and clear out my. Uh, I didn't even go out and take a look at the back to make sure the gas was uncovered. Hey, I found that woman's thing that you're talking about that 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 we can pee in. It's like a pee funnel. Isn't that interesting? What the fuck? Things are. Mm. I got an update from Jake. This don't look good, though. Oh, no. What's going on? Nothing. Jesus, it's not that bad. <laughs> like, was oh, like, oh, no. Like, it's okay. Um, sad last days. Sad last days. Oh, my oh. God. Well, he's trying to, he says he's trying to manage from the hospital. It's exhausting. He weighs 196 pounds. Oh, my God. He's also Jesus. over 400 pounds. He's less than, he weighs less than me. Jake DeMarco, he less than me. my co-host of all these years, and what he looked like, he weighs less than me. Wow. Like Riho, so. That dude's going to have to do a whole new wardrobe change. Well, he yeah. says, um, well, this is bad because he says that, maybe it is bad, 
He says that he weighs he weighs realistically weighs one fifty. And yeah, because of the skin. The skin is weighing everything down. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god, poor guy. Yeah. God oh bless god. him. No. We love you, Jake. We're all thinking about you. We miss you a lot. Love you, Jake. Yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah. He's a good dude. Jesus Christ. No. Yeah. Is he in the hospital well, in now? Way, I mean, I'm sure he feels good, you know, like. Oh, yeah. Hey, Danny. Hey, Dan. What's up, man? Hello. So <laughs> funny yesterday. I swear to God, I thought that was you. What? When Leah said that? That Leah clip? I don't know if it was a Leah clip or what it was. I just yeah, thought when you were on the says, call. Yeah, uh, when she says it was uh, a sausage fest and she had to jump in. Yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, wow. that was Leah. Clip. People was keep me. saying that. They're like, is that you? And I'm like, no, but I'll say it if you want. It's not a big deal. <laughs> the, sausage, the sausage fest now has a bun. And it just sounds like something you would say. Of course. So I mean, everything went together, you know? I'm like, oh, Yeah, usually I'll come in and I'll say, you know, I stopped in. There's too many sausages. And yep, exactly. We got Boston sausage. We got New Jersey sausage. We got Texas sausage. And Canadian buns. <laughs> Canadian pudding. Jesus. Yeah. Well, that was not the thing I wanted to read, but it was something. Yeah. So Jake's uh, doing not good in the hospital. Damn it. But I did see his ass and his. I did see some of his ass in the photos he sent. Oh. So that was hot. I can't. Mm. I can't promise I won't jerk off to that later, <laughs> Jake. What? If you're, if you're listening, Jake, I might jerk off to you. Oh, that's on Amazon. Oh my God. I mean, I've seen that on like websites and stuff, but that's yeah. on Amazon. Have you seen that? It's three hundred and fifty bucks. Can what? You but you can get a whole. Oh my God. You can get a whole bust where like the the titties now, are, are I have like a real. Question for you. Okay, say there's a nice tranny girl. Okay. Now no. if. You know, I'm not talking to you. Just listen. Um, and you go to feel under her skirt and you see that, Joe. I see I'd that. I fucking run. I'm sorry. but Yeah, I would. I'd, it's yeah. like fake fake silicone panties that have vagina lips on the outside. Yeah, that's a little. Well, you know, I had an ex who had like a look like that almost. Not quite that, but. Yeah, but she wasn't made of silicone, was she? No, but they <laughs> she was very lippy. Like they look like they were gonna. Yep. Like, or meat curtains were. Hold on a yeah. lip in the wind. Yeah, a lot of meat curtains. Exactly, the meat curtains beefy. were hanging low. Beefy. Yeah. Beefy. Yeah, Just beefy Mario. Beefy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Where's beefy Mario at? Where beefy Luigi and beefy Mario? Mm-hmm. Like Mick Foley. Yeah. Mick Foley doing the ravioli commercials. Beefy. beefy. Yeah, mm-hmm. back back before he had the brain damage he has now on Twitter. Oh, I hear kids fighting. Uh-oh. Here we go. Man, the Rams are going to the Super Bowl against the Bengals. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Did put some money on sleep? Arizona next year. What? Okay. Nobody hosted a Super Bowl for 55 years until last year. Now it's happened again. Yeah. Twice in a row. Mm-hmm. So bet some money on Arizona going to the Super Bowl next year. Yeah, really. I wouldn't doubt it. Mhm. I don't know. Jeremiah, you drop a thousand dollars for Jake's medical bills, and I will send you the nude photos of him. How about that? Mm. I'm thinking about that. I told Jake. I said, you know, for your GoFundMe, I was like, you should create like a tier system, like mm-hmm. Jake's dick is ten thousand dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, dude, I'm telling you, somebody out there will pay ten grand for your dick pics. I'm telling you, maybe, maybe. And then I, I said, I said, see, you should have just stole all that cancer, that money from the kids, and keeping it for yourself back in the day. But no, he didn't. You know, he didn't listen. I said the community donated thirty seven hundred dollars for all those kids, and sure, they got fifteen Xboxes or whatever, and he did a great job, and we all did well, and it was what a good job we did for them. But you know, Jake should have pocketed the money, man. He's gonna need it, and just said, yeah, we did a great thing. <laughs> And then he should have fucking paid one of his bills. But I you know, wish I could win the lottery. I'm telling you, that's him, not you know. Yeah, uh, oh, that'd be great. Wouldn't that be great? Oh yeah. 
I can imagine his medical bills. I mean, even I know insurance covers somewhat, but yeah. still. But what are they going to I mean, be in the big? Digits well, that's the now. thing is he has insurance. I don't know why like most stuff isn't covered, you know. And even if well, it isn't, fuck it, they got to help insurance him. Insurance so. is fussy. Insurance is fussy, and then you got you have to pay the deductibles and all that bullshit. So. Well, don't they have to help him anyway though? So it's kind of like you know. So what? You, I don't. Well. You, you know, you rack up a. Well, yeah, they'll they'll help him, and then he has to fucking pay for it or be in debt exactly. for his life. I mean, you know. Yeah, but if you owe, yeah, if you have, if you owe three hundred thousand dollars for like the rest of your life, and every month you pay two hundred dollars or whatever it is, mm -hmm. I mean, what do you, who, what are you gonna do? You know, at that point, it's like, well, whatever. Like they save me, and yeah. I pay two hundred bucks a month, and you know, yeah, I just treat. Okay, well, fuck it, I won't give a shit. <laughs> just don't me? pay. I never pay no fucking hospital bills, and every <laughs> year when the when the uh, fucking. What do you call them? The uh, bill collectors hit you up. Uh, the price goes down and down and down. They're just fucking basically willing to take anything. Right. And I still don't pay. And if yeah. I'm not mistaken, in America, it was uh, a seven-year rule. If you ain't pay shit, it just goes away. Wow. Really? And it doesn't take a hit on your credit score because credit score is fucking great. So you heard it here. Oh. Danny MT, medical fraud. You heard it here. <laughs> um, <laughs> call you heard it here. <laughs> First, State folks. <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen hey. to Danny know all the secrets to get everything for free. You know who you know who won't stop leaving you alone is the IRS. They will come get you. <laughs> like I'll just tell you that. Well, no, just as I long as you pay something, you know, IRS is. They Irving just R. Scheister will come after you. Yeah, really. <laughs> no, as long as you pay them something too, you should be alright. Yep, right. you're fine as long as you give something. It's it's the effort. You know what I mean? And yeah. At the, know, at the very, like let's say the worst case scenario happened, I'd sell my car, sell the house, and I'd have two hundred thousand dollars. I'd give them their sixty k, take the other hundred thirty thousand. Leah would probably leave me, and I'd split it with her. See you later, bitch. There, you're like, what <laughs> 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 yeah, I like to see that work. That should be interesting. <laughs> oh my god, I'll <laughs> take it all, kick you in the nuts, and then you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. man. It's okay if I say it about my wife. But oh, listen. Course. By the way, how is Queen Leah? We miss her. Yeah, we yeah. do. She's she, reading her book. She Wait, hates you. Let me tell you. No, <laughs> no, she I, wants peace and quiet. <laughs> yeah, I asked her. I said, I said, hey, you want to? I said, you want to do something tonight? And she's like, what? I'm like, I don't know. You want to do something? You want to watch a movie? Do something? I don't know. I think I just want to read my book. I'm like, okay. You want to drink or something? Like watch a movie, have a sip. She goes, well, I want to read. The, maybe I'll read this sex part to you. And then I'm like, I'm like, no, you can't do that. If you do that, you got to be naked. You do that. <laughs> later. And so I don't know. We might do something later. So when I get off the yeah. air or whatever. So she's all right. She's reading the book, and uh, I think she's looking forward to the. the looks like the kids aren't going to have school tomorrow. So oh, cool. I think she's looking forward to kind of being able to stay up till maybe like you know one a.m. and read a book or two a.m. and read a book. Yeah. The so word of the night is congolingus. Congolingus. Oh, oh my God! Let me tell you something. Name. Well, I don't want to tell you too much because it would upset her and it's weird. But I don't know. Never mind. I won't say it. But the bottom line no, is, don't say anything. She, I'll that's... just say she looked. She looked amazing the last night. Like she looked hot like last night. I was like, wow. This is she great. always looks hot. I mean, come on. Well, she is beautiful. She's always hot to me, and she's always beautiful to me. But. She, that's good. She, this, she lost fucking 10 pounds. And I was like, you, uh, she's like, hey, I lost 10 pounds. I'm like, I can tell. I'm like, I don't know why, but I can I can see that you lost weight. And so I was like, and she's wearing, you know, when the, why do like leggings are just made to make you want to attack people. Right. Right. What is that? Like, what do you I'm like, what are you wearing those for? And she's like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, oh, I'm like one of those creepy guys. But I am. I'm like, you know, what's wrong with you? I'm sorry. I can, like it's. <laughs> I can't deal with this. I can't come upstairs until those are not on you. Mm -hmm. Or like you got to wear cuz usually they're comfortable. She, that's yeah. All I got to say. Oh my god, like she was making something. You I'm like, in sales. You know it's all about the marketing, even mm. pants. It's not our fault. Yeah, exactly. What was the what was that what was that joke I heard the other day someone said that they were like, "Oh, you're in sales." Was that you that sent me that? I'm in, you know, you're in you, the guy was like, "Troy, you know this comedian?" They were like, they were like, "Oh yeah, you know what it is when a girl puts on when a when a girl when a guy has a nice car and a nice house and he's talking about his great job and all the money he has. That's called sales. He's he's looking for a deal. You know, look at my car. Come on, just come out tonight. Look at my car. Look at this. That's a that's sales. And how about when a girl puts on makeup and then puts that skirt on and does all this other stuff? And you go, you fucking sickos. That's called marketing. <laughs> like like they're not looking for it. 
It's a great. I don't know who told that joke, Ooh. but it was good. I, I've I've yeah. definitely seen that before. It was probably on like the comedy <laughs> on YouTube or something. Jesus. Saw it. Yeah, it was it was a good one. It was a great. It was told way better than what I just did. I just sort of summed it up in the wrong oh, way. Oh, without, without a doubt. Yeah. It's too uh, too smart for me, but it was good, and it was like that is so true because he was like. Are you you know when the girls put the skirts on they're looking to make a sale right guys you know you gotta whatever and it's like no you fucking creepos that's why you guys get into so many problems because that's marketing it's funny <laughs> it's great stuff mm-hmm is it Bill Bill Burr yeah I don't think so if anybody knows in the chat maybe that somebody has heard that somewhere because I would think if you've heard of it I've heard of it. You know, somebody's got to have seen that stand up somewhere. Hmm. I don't think it's Gaffigan. That's it's too No, definitely not. Definitely not, not him. Yeah. He's more like, Hey, if I looked in my pocket. pot pocket and I looked at my wife I don't like him at all, but uh he, I like him as Hot Pocket. Yeah, I don't get him. He's <laughs> like he's like the dad that's funny. Like he'd probably be good in front of my like my kids. Like you yeah, wanna see a comedian? The exact opposite of you. Exactly. Like I'd be like, but I'd be like Bob Saget. I'd be like, this is great. I'll go see Bob Saget. Speaking of comedians, I'm gonna throw a couple out. So for uh, word association, Dane Cook. Any thoughts? I hate that fucking guy, and he stole one of my jokes. Got you. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've always liked him. Hey, I thought he was okay. Uh, the other ones like uh, Louis Black. Oh, definitely. I saw him live. Actually, I love I have his Louis autograph. Black. Yeah. I saw him in uh, at college. Talk to him after the show. He was pretty cool. Britney Spears Sweet. and Aerosmith on the stage at the same time. But it was okay because I had a spoon and I <laughs> shoved it up my ass. <laughs> it was fucking great. I love that one. What about uh, Louis Black? Great guy. Yeah, yeah. Bill Burr. Oh, I mean, I love Bill Burr. Grew up with oh, like, there's his no shit. one Joe would rather be than Bill Burr. He's, he's well, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't like to be him. I just he's from the same area. He who's went to, the, who's the, he went to school who's at the, the same Italian school. guy? The Ita oh yeah, that narrows it down. No, 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 no. It's like a, he's recent. He's recent. Tony Danza. He's recent. Tony Danza. Italian comedian. Hey Gloria, no. <laughs> put me in my glory no. hole. Um, I gotta, no, I gotta look. Angela. Angela. Angela, there you go. Yeah, I mean, dude, there's so many Italian guys. Like, who's the Italian guy? That's so vague. It's, there's too many. No, no, the funny thing I is, I think I know who he's talking about, and I don't think they're Italian. I'm not sure they're if they're Italian. That's the he's a Muslim Jewish guy. Maniscalco. I think he's thinking Sebastian Maniscalco. Yeah. Hmm. Let me see. What? I don't even know who that is. Yes, yeah, so that's that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. That's him. What the hell? I'm sorry. Dude, I, I what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. It, sorry, dude. I had a brain fart. What the hell? Italian. Yeah, I know. I know. He he's Pop not Italian. He plays Marines. Was he Hispanic? No, Joe. Yeah. That's what he sounds like the voice I just did. That's his normal his bit. What are you doing? And he sounds gay, but he's not. Oh, <laughs> I gotta go grab my food. I'll be right back. Okay. I, uh, I don't. I don't want the guy to fall up the stairs and sue us. You know what I mean? <laughs> Again, no, I was yeah. put you out of business a life. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say, what did you guys think about? Uh, again, this he's my favorite comedian, but uh, Robin Williams. Oh, legend. Yeah, cocaine, cocaine. That's, <laughs> that's, the, first, that's the first thing you think. <laughs> well, again, John Belushi got killed, and he was in the room with yeah. him before he died. So, yes, he was, and Robert De Niro was too. Did right. you guys see the um, Jamie Costa? Uh, Tess as Robin. Yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Anybody else know? What? So, uh, Jamie Cost is a uh, actor, also like a really good impersonator, but not even like impersonator. He, the shit he does is like spot on. And there's uh, basically a screen test that he did, almost kind of a little like a five minute, you almost call it like a fan film, but clearly he did it because he wants to play Robin Williams and it's really oh I saw that like, video I saw that said. video not too long ago and I'm not gonna lie to you 
I actually teared up on that because I was like, this is too real. Yeah, it takes place kind of when he's shooting Mork and Mindy, and it's about... Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, I, saw the that too, that show. I cried about that because, honestly, God, I remember when I was when he passed away because uh, I was going to um, acting school at the time. And um, when I found out, everyone was... It was almost like um, like a silent movie. No one said a word. You just looked. Yo, uh, that video got sent to his his daughter, and his daughter was just like, "It was a nice tribute, but it's very creepy. I don't like it." Yeah, really? it was creepy. Well, I don't think she said that was very creepy. She just didn't understand why people were sending it to her. It's like, yeah, my dad said, "Great." Why people keep sending this over, over and over? Like, man, stop. Uh, yeah, I, I ended up taking it down. Yeah, I think honestly though that again, eventually she's gonna have to deal with the fact that if anybody's gonna most likely direct like a film about his life, it most likely either will be Zelda or it will be somebody that Zelda trusts. Ultimately, because again, she I, she's not gotten over the fact that her dad is dead. You know, is anybody? Mark and Mindy was yeah. was the shit. Yeah, Love man. it. I mean, I get, I get, I didn't mind Mork and Mindy personally. For me, I was more of his about his films. Like again, uh, uh, Dead Poet Society is probably one of my top five that he ever. Well, you're, you're younger, so. yeah, you're younger. That makes sense. Yeah, True. Dead Poet Society. Of course, I loved um, uh, Good, Good Morning Vietnam. Yeah, Good Will Hunting. Good Morning Damn Vietnam. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Vietnam. That was a great movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Awesome movie. That whole uh, show was like ninety eight percent improv, ad lib. Yeah. Well, because remember, it's on the radio, and again, him being a comedian, <laughs> he had a lot of no, I meant Mork and Mindy. No, oh, I meant Mork and Mindy. Mindy. Yeah. I'm talking about Mork and Mindy. <laughs> oh, oh, the blooper reel is hilarious. Him, him and Jonathan Winters is oh my god, crowning jewel. Yeah, <laughs> that was his idea to have him on the show, and the whole thing was his idea. That was his um, idol. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, if you guys ever get a chance to do this, go on YouTube and look up the Johnny Carson show with Robin Williams yeah. and Johnny Winters. It is the best comedy that was not even intentionally made to be a comedy. It was just guys shooting shit, talking about That's stuff. That one. That's a good clip, yeah. It, it's the greatest freaking deal ever. Welcome back, Tex. Heard on man. Some of the people were on Mark and Mindy before they got famous, like David Letterman and yep. Um, yep. a ton of people. A ton of people. Yep. They had yeah. a great lineup over there. Just all these wonderful actors coming in to their own, not even into their own yet. Yeah, they're just, you know, bumbling around. Right. And also, mind you, that again, the reason why I respected Robin so much was that he would do the Mork and Mindy show, or I guess once or twice a week, whatever it was, and then immediately afterwards go to the comedy clubs and just kill it. Mm-hmm. Like he was hustling. Home, even if he wasn't getting paid, he was hustling, doing his thing. So then you've seen that that Robin Williams um the comedy club thing he did for HBO in the seventies, which one? Oh, the the, for, the first one that he did in San Francisco. Well, he's got he's got fucking Fonzie and John Ritter in the audience watching him and other celebrities. Oh he's yes, I do remember. I do know, I, yeah, I did see that one. Yes, yes, yeah. Um, my fa- my my two favorite comedy specials that he ever did was uh, the one in San Francisco that he did. I think it was in the early eighties, and then the other one was uh, Live at the Met. Uh, what yeah. he's talking about because he's talking about like getting over drinking and smoking and all those stuff and he's like doing it in such a way where yeah because he's taking like a bottle of like Perel or something like that acting like he's about to <laughs> he's about to urinate on the stage and he's just like you know doing all the motions and stuff he killed it and he actually improv his um, own improv yeah the, the cocaine was was rampant that evening well no he was clean at that point actually he just got over no, his relapse about the first one the old one the 70s oh yeah no absolutely he was that high in, as a kite then in quaaludes uh, we're still around <laughs> i never really yeah. quaalude guy he climbs the balcony and shit like fucking i thought he was gonna jump off like eddie vetter or something <laughs> <laughs> what about um <laughs> let me ask you guys a question because obviously we all respect him as a as a movie actor but what did you think of jim carrey's stand-up when he was like starting out oh there goes text down a hole Another. Yeah, I keep bringing him in, and he he can't hear. So I oh no! Maybe up. log out, and then I'll bring him back in. Yeah, yeah my we're birthday. Up. But anyways, anyways Jim, Discord's been doing that weird shit. Yeah, yeah. It's acting up. Mm-hmm. It's been weird. But anyways, Jim Carrey. Mm-hmm. He turned uh, sixty Jim the other Carrey? day. Damn. I yeah, saw my the video. Yeah. Saw the video. Yeah. 
still funny. Yeah, he's he's interesting. Yeah, yeah, he's lost his mind lately, but otherwise, yeah. All well, he well again, he's tired of the freaking Hollywood system, and at this point in his age, I don't blame he, him really. He went yep. from like mythic at, mythic actor to um just straight up just spiritual now. Yeah, it's weird. Which is, but I, I mean, it's, I loved him on Norm Macdonald's show. By the way, like he had a lot of good shit to say. I saw right. that not too long ago. Uh, he was like fiddling around with like the the letters on like the desk to make it spell like something yeah. different. And yeah. oh god, terrific, terrific. Um, a great one. My favorite deal that he ever did was he dressed up like Jim Morrison for like a, 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 a an award yeah. event because he, uh-huh. he 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 did not care. And and he's like talking like Catherine Zeta Jones and a bunch of other women in the audience going, "There's a lot of fresh pussy right out here in the audience. I don't bunch care who your daddies are. In here. I don't care who your daddies are. Mm-hmm. I die. <laughs> oh God, that's funny. Can you hear us? That was a long time. <laughs> Come on, Tex, you're a comedian. <laughs> I think he can oh, hear okay. us. I think this thing's, yeah, this thing's fucking out. Do we need to be in a different room or what? Disconnected no, again. Homer, he actually just looks funny. Hmm. Should we jump to a different room? Like the on hold one or something? Or, or what? Thoughts? Oh, damn, Tex. <laughs> Probably, I guess. Oh, my God, Tex. Uh, Show me that meat cleaver. Joe, should we? He keeps getting uh, disconnected when I try and bring him in. Should we go to the bigger room so he can just I jump think what it himself? Is, it's I think room. what it is is that it's locked. That's why. Yeah, I'll make it bigger. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> He'll make it bigger. Clip that. Clip that. <laughs> pee hole. Clip that and in, in your pee hole, dude. <laughs> Derpy Gaming says there. this confirms that Detroit Lions are the worst organization ever in the NFL. Jaguars. Mm. Mm. No, ja- yeah, Jaguars. Jags are pretty bad, yeah. 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 No, I, think I can't Lions even find a coach. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Holy shit. <laughs> can't even find a fucking coach. Can't find a fucking coach. We suck. Can't find defense. Can't find offense. Can't find a win. We got quarterback. And find a foreign uh, fucking. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right, I'm just, <laughs> almost. <laughs> oh my god! I saved myself. I can still get hired by Green Bay. Beat both teams in the Super Bowl. Sons of Pardon me. Mm. <laughs> no, Shaw. I said Green Bay beat both teams that are in the Super Bowl. I okay. know. I know. Hey, okay. isn't it weird? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> None of this makes sense. It breaks down to luck of the draw and no. the matchup. I guess you know. No, I'm kidding. Mm-hmm. Cincinnati was Did the worst see... team a year ago. Yeah. Did you see on Twitter um Josh Allen after um the first game when uh Cincinnati won? He, all he put out there was pain. That's all he because he's like <laughs> we should have been there. Mm-hmm. He's fucking I know what pain's like. That put, fucking my game, the needle in our the game was shitty. A lot of hockey fights. Yeah. A lot of ho- I follow these you this YouTube uh guy and a couple of YouTubers yeah. with and I'll tell you, I especially this year and last year, but th- right now, I don't know yeah. what it is, but there's been a lot of hockey fights. They're really fighting over there. Hell yeah. yeah. I love it. Probably the worst. Need to bring more back. Me probably too. the worst one that I ever saw was Rangers and Devils, and like I just saw blood on the ice, and that was probably the worst that I've ever saw. It. <laughs> like yeah, they awesome. knocked each other's teeth out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, if, 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 if you want to slow the game down, I feel like that helps a little bit, you know? For sure, and it brings momentum too. I mean, if your yeah. teammate doing nothing, you take your big defensive a guy go out there and just fucking smash some guy, and it gets the team going. Mm-hmm. Of course, I like that anyway. So, I haven't yeah. been to a hockey years, in like two years, three years. When it's I watch like, basketball, I get oh, angry that they don't yeah. fight. I'm like, oh, get him! Like he just, oh. He, oh, he just hit him in the, you know, he hit him in the crotch when the ref wasn't looking. Like, what the fuck? Get him! Like, and they don't do anything, and then it, it's like, oh, he just dives oh. later more. Yeah. That's I why you should be fighting in every sport. If, if there, seen that, right? Can you imagine fighting in basketball? I would watch basketball. Oh, I've seen I it. Would too. I've seen it, dude. No. They would be throwing haymakers, especially one dude is tall and he's got a far reach. Yeah, no, I've seen. We've all seen it, but I mean, like, I mean, like, if it was like uh, accepted, like there was oh, a yeah, there sure. was a ten minute penalty for fighting. 
Oh, I saw coaches fighting actually. Well, that's good too. At one point, a couple of, and they, couple were, like, of white dorks, a couple of white dorks who never played the game, but they're fighting with each other on the side. That's always awesome. Wait, Joe, do you remember the the, the legendary fight between I think it was like Boston and Yankees, and uh, homeboy off the Yankees got his ass thrown. Like the, the fat old guy, uh, I can't remember. Don oh, Zimmer. Yes. Don, Don Zimmer. Yeah. Don Zimmer. Yeah. Oh man. Pedro just well, went. A great basketball fight was uh, our test when he started beating the shit out of fucking yeah. spectators. <laughs> <laughs> the best mm-hmm. fight ever in the history of sports is the 1984 Padres versus Braves game. It's about a half an hour long. It it happened more than once. There are fans, cops, beers thrown. People, fans on the field, oh, yeah. got players with their shirts off, wanting to fight fans. It's uh, fucking I'm gonna have brilliant. to disagree with you there. <laughs> the like, best fight it. ever was, uh, I think huh? it was like '79. When '78. The went I know what you're gonna say. At Madison Square Garden, the loafer, and uh, Milbury beat a fan with his own loafer. <laughs> Carry all right. It's the inspiration for Slapshot when they go into the stands. Yeah. And then remember Troy. And then we worked with his wife. Yeah, it's ridiculous. If you ever see the, the, if you watch the clip, the boards are so low. You're like, that shit's dangerous. There's no nets. The the glass boards are only four feet tall, so you can lean over them. And a fan grabbed uh, somebody's stick, so the Bruins ended up fucking climbing over the boards and beating the crap the bi- out of a bunch of fans. The big thing the Bruins say is that somebody threw a battery when they Bat- got hit, when they got hit with a battery. That's when they. Yeah. <laughs> were like, all right, shot battery shot. inside a ring. So the game changes from like, okay. You know, we're fighting with the New York Rangers, and then people start attacking the Bruins from the fans. Put it all. The- Middle of it. And now this guy wants to take fighting out of hockey. That guy. Yeah, yeah, he wants, <laughs> he wants it out. He's a traitor. Saturday night's all right for fight. Mm. It, it kind of, it, it sounds like all the hippies, it sounds like all the hippies who want to censor uh, the discussions. Mm-mm. You know what it is? You live long enough to see yourself become the villain. That's what it is. Yeah, mm-hmm. or die a hero. Mm-hmm. A millionaire. Why do you think? Um, why do you think all those hippie artists want to silence Joe Rogan? It's like, aren't you fucking keep on rocking in the free world? No, I, I mean I kind of do, but you know, <laughs> you want to mm-hmm. rock in the free world. Another loser wants to take his shit off Spotify. Yeah, it's like, go ahead, dude. Dude, I would never want to. I don't want to. Nobody. I don't want to silence anybody. I don't want to silence anybody. Why would you want to silence right. people? Like. So it's like uh, Neil Young wanting to silence Rogan. It's like, or it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, <laughs> like so you agree with the? It just doesn't make any sense. So like, Millbury's the same way. Goes up in the stands, beats up fans, gets into fights. Oh, now I want to take fighting out of the game. Um, oh, you know the world. You know the world's not fair. The big government. You know the man's keeping us down. Oh, I'm gonna side with the man now in my older age. You, you know, it's it's funny we're talking about this because I was just reading an article about Road Warrior Hawk recently, mm-hmm. and how before he was a wrestler, like he would go to the football games, right? And of course, you know, if there was a fight that went on between the football players, like he would join right in on the opposite end of where the other team was, and would beat up all the 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 fans of the of the other football team, <laughs> and he'd be like, "Okay, <laughs> we're losing. All right, I'm going to win in fights. I'm going to stance and knock <laughs> everybody out." Jesus, I believe it. He was nuts. Yeah, man, that's Minnesota too. So, yeah, fucking Minnesotas. <laughs> Penis. <What>? Penis. <laughs> Dead air. Well, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to wrap it up. Um. Yeah. I had fun tonight. Yeah, I think I'm going to go eat. I'm going to go eat. Mm-hmm. Sounds like you're already eating. Just, you're speaking my language. Mm. Exactly. Did uh-huh. Liam make some more biscuits? No, I ordered that food. My mother was like, oh, you food? oh, that's right. It did finally come. Okay, good. Go eat. Yeah, and it's free. So it's like, wow, I get free food. I'm oh, like the ultimate. It's good thing. Gravy. No, no Joe wants to eat because Leah's wearing fucking yoga pants. Nobody grips mm. like I do. <laughs> well, that might be later. That might come later. But that's hey, the... no, I don't know. <laughs> that's the dessert. <laughs> yeah, I'll eat her dessert. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Um, shout out to. All right, guys. Uh, good night, Joe. Bye bye. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Good night, Jim. Bob. Hey, big shout out to night, Troy. Jim. What up, Troy? You sex beast. Hit me up uh, for some games at some point, Troy. See you, Danny MT, Garguts, Mr. Later, Pico, brother. Rustafa. Thank you. I'm out. You guys are great. I had fun hanging out. 
I uh, just turned off the music on the outro, fucked up the outro. You know, what am I doing? Uh, for some reason, donated $22. Swear Man, I thank you for some reason. This. You're the Why top you guy. You're the top dog for some reason. C.E. Moore. That's really that person. I don't know. Break, <laughs> break up Google now. $5. And Bangle. Tactics. Will Tactics. Debe's Shitty In-Laws. Gerald Armstrong multiple times. Go Bengals. Um, Braun Braun Big Tard. Thank you. Thank you guys for hanging out. Four hour stream. That's not bad. You know, we actually normally start this show around nine or eight and go to about midnight or so. But I started super early tonight. And, um, but it's been four hours, man. That time flew fucking by. What the fuck? Keep it hard. Adios. Drew Bar, what's up? Paul three, get wet. Thanks to Derek and, and, uh, Drew Bar, thank you for modding. But thanks to Derek and Paul3 for fighting in the chat earlier. That was sexy. You guys were very cute. It was beautiful. It was beyond words, to be honest. Nothing primal like bonding with your father over the death of a whore who didn't have one. Okay? Let me just... <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go